for a while. What's the question? Uh uh. I don't wanna talk to your best friend. Uh uh. I don't gotta lie, pick the best one. I'm done. Check out. Two times, how you miss like this? It's low tide, cut ties, threads all on my wrist. I'm tricked up, no fun, catch sweat in my fist. Pick it up, got the 20 with that lifestyle. Couple bucks in my pocket, make it worthwhile. Any up on my chips, yeah, guess we got one thing through. Looking back on the timeline, been here for a while, it's the question. I don't got a lot but my best friends I'ma make a knot out of loose ends I spend all my time on the bridge with Hi everyone, welcome into the stream. How are you doing? Good morning. We are not as amazingly on schedule as we were last stream. I'm in one, in one minute. Okay, two minutes. <laughs> Relax. Hi everybody, welcome in. How are you doing? What's up? Good morning. <sighs> Two minutes. Shut the fuck up. It's fine. It's fine. I had an obsession once, but we did an exorcism. Well, I'm happy that that all worked out. That's good. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You can't just be like, oh yeah, I had an... Wait, did you... No, you didn't. You're fucking with me. I haven't had my coffee. Whatever. Oh, music. <sighs> Fix the context, yeah. I will do. I don't always know what exactly or like what the topic will be perfectly. So usually I'll have like a bunch in the in the system or I'll be watching the news or I'll have like a bunch of different things that I've semi-researched and I don't necessarily know until like the stream which one we'll be doing. That's why I don't update the context. Context, Perry is late again. <laughs> Shocking. Thank you for the follow, Bilbo. I appreciate that a lot. How are you doing? I'm out of focus. Better? Is that better? Yeah, sweet. That's weird. I fixed that setting last time, but uh, must have reset. I look like a DJ. Thank you. Do you mean I'm wearing headphones? Is that what you mean? <laughs> Hi, Baba. Welcome in. Hi, I what's up? Oh, yes. News. News for... Uh, I did change the focus settings, but it reverted back. You see? You see, I actually changed it for the better. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, there is, is there no AF? What is AF? Is there usually AF? Is AF something that we have? Autofocus. Uh, I don't know. No. <laughs> Fairy didn't forget the Technics did an oopsie. Yeah, that's what it is. Also, we're not like... Ah. Okay, and then we'll just it. Yeah, that's good. Acceptable. <laughs> AF equals blurry AF. Yeah, that's what it means. Still off by one millimeter. Thank you. <laughs> and Lee fans. See, that's what I was thinking. And doesn't it have and Lee fans? It does, but you have to select a different setting. And so the focus was wide and it was focusing on whatever was in the foreground for some reason, I don't know why. But I set it to center. So whoever's in the center, whether it's me or the mic, will get the focus, which is better. Why does it feel wrong? I don't know, it always does, doesn't it? Actually, I think it's pretty good. I'm happy with this. Look how straight that back line is. I always look at the back, the back line. The back line is the important thing. Look how straight that line is, it's amazing. Oh yeah, chat, so the funnest thing about today's stream 
the super awesome fun thing about t today's stream um, is that Mushroom Alfredo is back. Mushroom Alfredo is back. So if you want to at, you don't actually have to at, you can just say Alfredo in your message at any point. If you include the word Alfredo in your message at any point, then he will talk to you. He's a bit weird. He's not weird. Okay, he's just very, very uncool. That's what it is. He's just really uncool. Um, and he's not going to reply to all of your messages. Oh, no, he will. Oh, he will. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you, actually. I shouldn't have told you because <laughs> now I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, we are also live on YouTube, which is a good point, actually. I've been neglecting YouTube chat. Here we go. We haven't updated the thumbnail for the YouTube stream. So I'll probably do that right now. Okay, so chat. You can help me with this, actually. I'll pop it out. You can help me with it because basically we have to basically we have to make a YouTube thumbnail for the stream for some reason. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, on Twitch, it's just auto thumbnails at whatever point that you're in, which is good because it means you don't have to worry about it and it updates, but it's bad because sometimes you're caught with like and that's the thumbnail for like the next 15 minutes. But um, yeah, so we have to make a YouTube thumbnail. And usually what I do, I'm gonna tell you what the stream is about and you can tell me what facial expression we should make. Usually it will be me making a face and then the title or like the, the word or two about what the stream is about and other things. And then that's it, that's the whole, that's the whole situation. So today's stream is about obsession. Today's stream is about obsession. Uh, there was a video posted and it's been all over Reddit about a dude, and this is what we're talking about today, it's really fun. There was a dude who was in love with his bandmate's fiance. Um, and because he was in love with his fiance, he thought, well, I have to get this girl somehow. So he poisoned his bandmate in a way, in a manner of speaking. I won't tell you any more about that. Oh my God, this story. I'm not gonna tell you any more because spoilies, 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 spoilies. But today's stream is about obsession and you know, weird stuff. There was also a muck duck, but we're not gonna talk much about the muck duck because we're not a true crime channel and it's sad and gross. But there was also a muck duck at one point that was gonna be mentioned. And we might at some point, I might not, I might not because we have talked about him a lot. I'm not gonna talk about him at all, but, but at some point we might listen to some of our favorite, favorite guitarist boys, John Hinckley. I'm getting obsessed by this story. Why'd you have to, oh, the story, why'd you have to cut it? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. PSA, do not poison your maid to order you made in order to mate with their mate. Your mate. Uh, see, that would have been funny in Whimsical if you didn't spell things wrong. Sorry, ruined it, absolutely ruined it. Important to proofread. Sound like an English teacher, but it's true. It's true, botch that one. <laughs> Narcissista, thanks for the prime, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, yes, okay, so what facial expression should I make, chat? What is the thumbnail for this video? Obsession, drama, murder. We're not gonna talk about the murder part, but like poisoning a bandmate to, to just full shock. An overly attached girlfriend face thumbnail. Ooh, let me remind myself. It's like. Yeah, okay, okay, we can do this, we can do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this scene so there's nothing else on the on the screen and I'm gonna record it. And I'm gonna go. And then that'll be the thumbnail, hopefully, if that was good. Oh, virtual cam, oh. Hopefully that was good and we'll have a little look-see. Who knows? <laughs> Do it again! Oh, geez. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, man. Usually I spend a little bit, bit more time on this. <laughs> it's a, th why is the thumbnail? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. That's the first thing you saw when you were came in. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's pull up. Let's pull up the stream bods. I can show you this. 
Oh, and Jesus. Then... Okay, what can we... That's all right. You know, it's scary. It's scary. And that's what we were going for. So, perfect. Screenshot. Nailed it. Flawless. Okay. Let me get you away from that now. Now what we're going to do is... We're going to go ahead and make that thumbnail. Thank you for doing this with me. I appreciate that. Uh, I usually do this before stream. I'm sorry. But you know what? You love it. I know you do. I know you do. So come with me over here. So many tabs. What's this? That one? There we go. I'm a professional streamer. So sorry. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna verify that I'm a human. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make, this is a little thumbnail tutorial, a transparent version of that screenshot that we just took. Parfait. It's really good, this one. <laughs> I'm gonna download it. Teehee. Then I'm gonna upload, yes, I use Canva. Canva's good, man. Canva's good and it's free. What's your beef? What am I supposed to use? What am I supposed to use? A $300 software? Okay, tree money maker. You stupid, stupid boy. Anyway, here you go. Affinity, what is affinity? I've never heard of affinity. Fine, listen, I wasn't actually asking. I don't actually want like, <laughs> Canva's magical, it's so good. I don't actually want like suggestions. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I do. If you have suggestions, that'd be useful. Then two back. And then that is me. We'll size it right. Ooh. Si size it right. So now I'm going to go over the top of it. She a bit big. Ooh. Flawless. Let's just make it so that I don't have two sets of shoulders. Because if anyone notices, it's going to be terrifying. Parfait, and then that one's gonna come to the front. Oh, and now you have like a, oh, I'm in front of the words effect. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Update context before you forget again. Good point. Today we're talking about obsession. And the dude that poisoned his bandmate. And then brackets the name of the band so that if people come in late, they know what we're talking about. And then some anonymous confessions. Woo! There you go, fixed, fixed! Hi Dan, hi Swash, hi Fred, hi Geek, hi Bilbo, what's up? Welcome into the YouTube chat. Sorry I've been neglecting you, how are you doing? Microsoft Paint is OG. You know, I have a soft spot for Paint. I really do, I want me over here actually. I'm gonna go ahead and just, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm being a perfectionist. I know we've already started the stream and I know I should just get a jog on, but I'm being a perfectionist. Listen, that's why I bring you the content that you love, okay? Because of the perfectionism, you know? My manager might be like, oh, Perry, you're a week and a half late on the deadline. Um, by the way, I'm not just late, okay? I do inform people of my lateness. You know, everyone's on the same page. I do ask permission. Thank you. Sweet, 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 sweet. And so now we're gonna take this Wait, why am I on page two? I won't be on page one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna change this and we're gonna make it say something else. You're watching me. You're watching me so I'm clicking things wrong. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna change this and we're gonna call it and other things because that's, you know, the best thing to, to say. Get it, get it, go away. Uh, perfect. It's not about perfectionism, it's about time management. It's about both, you know? Because if I wasn't a perfectionist, then I would have posted this already. Um, what do we want to call it is another point. What do we want to call the stream? I guess like obsession, right? Oh, that's good, you know, and we make that big. Oh yeah, if we make that big and we're like, oh yeah, obsession, and then there's me. But now we just have Beshin, so that's not perfect. We'll just make it a bit smaller. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's Obsession, perfect. 
And uh, I think that's it. I think we're good. Nailed it. Well, the end's off the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Perfect. Download it. Ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's brilliant. Smith, I swear to God, I do this every day, right? But you're watching me, so I'm just fr I'm just panicking. I'm just clicking on everything. Okay, now we can close all of this. Yay! <laughs> and we can upload it to YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, YouTube people and YouTubers, thank you for that. And now, now you're gonna have a fancy, pretty thumbnail, and you're welcome. Oh, I've closed YouTube. Am I still live on YouTube? Yes. How can I still be live on YouTube? I've closed it. Sure, it's fine. Sure, that's sure that's a a normal thing to have happened. Okay, cool. We're fine. This is what the thumbnail should have been. All righty. Edit. Add thumbnail. Oh, it's a good. It's a good one. It's a good one at that. It's got like the proper overlooking effect. Save it. Fantastic. And now I can resume. Hi guys, how was that for you? We're finally finished. Harry, I'm scared. Mushroom Fredo is sentient. He's like really sentient. Yeah, he's like really going for it and it is quite scary, isn't it? It's actually quite, it's quite, quite weird. What does the manager do for you that you can't do on your own? So they know people. I can't, for example, message Facebook and be like, hey, let me advertise for you. Because that's weird and cringe and no one would look at my email. But a manager can because they know people. Well, maybe not Facebook, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't get given campaigns. If like, I'm thinking of something random here. If Spotify had a campaign where they wanted streamers, they don't ask the streamers. They ask the talent agencies and the talent agencies bring the streamers. It's just easier. And then the agent can like sort out the campaign, right? It's just way easier for everyone. So if you're not part of an agency, you don't get access to any of those campaigns because no one's going to come to the actual streamers unless the stream is like international superstar celebrity and then fine. But even then, man, even then, they prefer to go to an agency for it. Ask for a sandwich while you're at it. Hi, everyone. So yeah, today, that's what we're doing. We are talking about basically this vibe, this vibe today. Get this face in your head all day. Get that face in your head. Everyone practice the facial expression because we're going to need it. Um, and that's that's what it is. Are you saying you're not an international celeb? Uh, mm, not yet. Not not close. <laughs> Hi, Asian. Get that face in your head um, because that's how you should be feeling. Why is she crying? Wait, is this what she actually looks like? Was she not? I thought she perpetuated this thing. I thought this was her. This was her character. Yeah. She's not crying because of the face. That's just what I assumed based on these two pictures. I know two things about her. I know this and I know this and I just put them together. I can't look into her eyes. Does it scare you? Good feel afraid she quit youtube that's why she's crying oh do you know what so many people have been quitting youtube these days like literally so many people and i uh i don't know what i guess it's a it's a generational thing right is that what it is it's a it's a generation i seem too normal in the thumbnail do you know what? I, i'm happy that we're not going full OAG, overly attached girlfriend. I'm happy we're not going full OAG because I think full OAG is too much. Frankly, I think it's too much, you know? You don't want to go full AOG, OAG, OAG. You never want to go full Kanye. I have another one too, but I can't say it on stream. My God, it's hot in this room. I don't know why. I'm opening windows. 
doors. Ah! Never go full, yay. Never. All of Perry's fans are just British or former colonists. Um. Yeah. That is like a lot of people though. To be fair, that's a lot of people. I'd rather have an overly attractive girlfriend. Yeah, well, not miracle workers, are we, Shadow? Might also be more and more hostile platforms. I have no idea what you're saying to me. Oh, why people are quitting YouTube? I was like, sorry, I was still stuck on like the manager conversation. Yeah, why? I was like, oh yeah, they're gonna be more hostile towards you and we love it because everyone just, just wants to be beaten. Beaten down, crushed into a fine paste all day, every single day. That's what we want. Just to make us feel something again. Just to feel alive. No, you're saying people are probably leaving YouTube because YouTube's getting weird. And Twitch get is getting weird. I don't know. I don't know if it's more than it was before. You know? I feel like... I don't... I genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know. I have no idea. Like, for real? I have no idea whatsoever. Twitch probably is getting worse to, as to be a content creator on it. I don't know. I don't know. But, in general... Okay. In general, I think we do have a tendency to be like... Things suck now and things back when we were 12. And it, by the way, it is always when we're 12. There's science behind that. Things back when we were 12 were great. And that's just never really the case. We just remember. We just remember when we were 12 as being really fun and nice because we weren't aware of all the bad stuff that was going on because we're 12. And it's like the most nostalgic era. So, oh, things were great when I was 12. Yeah, it's roast into glasses. Exactly, exactly. But everyone has always thought that throughout the history of time. It's always when you're 12. Everyone is always thinks that, you know, everyone. There's a dude from the 18th century that thought things were better the late 17th century. Mm-hmm. Your parents said this and their parents said this and on and on and on and on. Don't give your kids bikes because then they spend so much time out on the road. This new fad of bikes. Uh, all the kids are reading books instead of working the mines. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know what 17th century kids did. I'm not sure. 18th century kids when were books i mean there have been books for a ever but when did like book reading become a cool thing to do for everybody hey probably 18th century 19th century right i don't know isn't 12 the bridge between childhood and eight teenagerhood so it's probably the last time that you were truly innocent that might be what that is Although, I don't, I don't know if 12 would have been my age that I would have said that. Hey, chat, what age did you lose your innocence? Seven. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm still innocent, so sip. Aw, you keep that going. Four. Damn. Do you know it's four for a fact? Or is that just like the earliest time you can remember? Is innocence realizing that people are shit? <laughs> hey, chat, guys, please. People are not, listen, people are great. We love people. Um, but yes, no, what is innocence? I think, I think when you're a kid, everything is like perfect, you know? And there's no stress and no pressure and you're not worried about anything. And it's just pure excitement. And then you don't lose that, like you shouldn't lose that. But you start having to revise for exams, you know? I think exams are a really big, <laughs> big problem <laughs> in this regard. You start having to revise for exams and then all of a sudden you're stressed out and worried about things. And then you get acne. And then you have to get a job. But in general, you know, things are still great and wonderful and we're excited about stuff or we should be excited about stuff if we're not please please go and do some cbt read a book about something i'm i'm not sure <laughs> what do exams have to do with innocence well did you stressed out then you're stressed out and you're worried about stuff and that's not gucci that's what i mean hi Salem. 
Shit goes downhill real quick when you get acne. <laughs> Isn't it the worst? <laughs> I've got an obsession with knives. In Minecraft. Knives. In, in games. Okay, so, so you're playing a game and you want to get knives. As opposed to the guns. Or something. This is very odd phrasing. It's really weird. <laughs> really odd phrasing, but <laughs> I'm I'm scared. I'm scared. Daylight savings today? No. Is it really? Is it for me? Okay, it's not for me yet. I've got another three weeks for the US. Okay, cool. Rip you. This is devastating. This is devastating. I hate daylight savings. I hate daylight savings. There is no purpose. There is no point to daylight savings. Like, okay, fine. Oh yeah, you want the, the sun to be in a specific spot at a certain time of day. That's, that's great. It's one hour though. It's one hour. Maybe it made sense back in the way back when, when we didn't have like lights, <laughs> you know? And people weren't just indoors all the time playing games anyway. But now, Everything is the same color. I barely notice when things start getting darker. Like I barely notice. Like sometimes when when it when when we hit the extremes, like winter, okay, by four o'clock it's dark now. And summer, it's 10 p.m. and it's still light. I'll notice those. But the whole transition period, I don't even notice. And it still gets dark by 4 p.m. And it's still light at 10 p.m. And that's including the daylight savings changes. I don't get it. There's no point. There's no point. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Also, especially if you're international and you have to talk to people from other countries, which is everyone in every single job ever, it just makes things harder. Oh, what time zone are you? I don't know. I'm not. I can't remember. I'm either GMT or BST and I don't really know and sometimes I say the wrong one. I'm GMT right now. I'll be BST on the 31st of March. Ugh. And there are countries, obviously there are loads of countries that don't do daylight savings. So the time gap between you guys is just increasing for no reason. For no reason. It's legit an hour. Yeah. Uh-huh. Living in a place without daylight savings is bliss. I would imagine it's quite complicated though if you have to arrange with people who do have daylight savings though. No? Hi Dion, welcome in. Hi Kira, what's up? When the clocks are arbitrary too, it's all goofy. I mean, sunrise could be 12 a.m. Why not? That's true. Today could be whatever you want. Uh, it could be... <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I really don't. Why was it invented? Probably a war. Someone said World War II. Yeah, that makes sense. I would imagine it's some sort of war situation because it gets a bit dangerous. I don't know, actually. It's an hour. Did it make much of a... Should we, should we have a little look? Why was daylight savings created? Oh, it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Chat, it's not, it's not a war. This is the stupidest shit I've ever heard. The campaign to use BST, so that's British summertime, that's when we change the clocks in summer in the UK, was first started in 1907 by a British builder called William Willett, which is the most British name I've ever heard. William Willett from Kent, who wanted the country to make the most of the daylight hours in the summer months and save fuel. That's it. That's the whole thing. What the fuck, William? Yeah. What the fuck? Stupid Will. God damn it. That was it. He just wanted the more. He just wanted people to enjoy the summer. Like, you know? Aw, William. Fuck William from Kent. <laughs> it's like that guy, the, the dude who was like, oh yeah, you're not allowed any electronics on a plane. Same dude, right? Same sort of dude. He was just like, oh, I want people to talk to each other. I want people to enjoy their social time. People are on their phones too much. You know, that's the reason, right? Like genuinely, that's the reason. That's why they say turn off all electronics. The reason is, is because the guy who came up with that was like, I just want people talking to each other because you know, everyone's on their phone too much. Genuinely, that's the reason. Keep your phones on. It's the reason now, it wasn't before. Oh, was it like legit before? 
and then someone kept it going. Interesting, okay. So before, did it actually fuck up the plane? No way, really? Tell me plane people. We got a few plane people. I know at least two of you are plane engineers. Electronics on a plane can interfere with guidance systems, but only the, uh, the early devices, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Cool, but nowadays it's, it's nonsense. I kind of like William now, he trolled 8 billion people. <laughs> it's true, it's true. I'm a plain person, does that count? That does count, please offer me your insights. How do you feel about wings in general? Plain wings, specifically. Radio interference, fun. I love eating wings. I don't, actually, I don't. Listen, I'm a vegetarian. I did have bacon yesterday. But apart from the bacon yesterday, I am in general a vegetarian. Politically, I'm a vegan. In practice, I just, I just don't, I eat meat, but just not that much. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, vegetarian with a side of bacon, it's delicious. Uh, the point is, <laughs> the point is I like meat, right? But I don't like to know it's an animal. Do you know what I mean? So I'm cool with like chicken thighs. But if there's chicken wings and it's like, ah, oh, this is the wing of an animal, if this is the wing of a bird, then it's a bit weird, you know? Like I'm fine with pork, but if there's a hoof on my plate, then I'm, I'm out. I like fish. Unless there's a head right there, you know, and I can see it's the eyes. You're a vegetarian in the same way you're a psychologist with an asterisk. <laughs> who eats a hoof? There are people who eat hoofs. There are people who eat them. No, not like they don't necessarily eat the hoof, but they eat the stuff inside the hoof. If it has bones in it, it's just kind of weird. It's just kind of weird. It's just really, it's just kind of gross, you know, it's kind of strange. You know, it's delicious, but it's weird. It's like eggs, okay? Eggs are delicious until you remember what they are and it's really fucking weird. Don't ever think about what an egg is when you're eating eggs. Ruins it. You ever seen the Filipino dish that's a baby bird? Yes, I have. I have seen that, I have. Shan't be talking about it. I, I have seen that. Someone said tried cow feet. Has anyone tried cow feet, says Jesus. Jesus, have you? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to eat eggs again. <laughs> They're really, really, really strange. Who thought let's eat this? That's my question. Who thought let's eat it? Milk from a cow. Who thought let's put this in our mouth, you know? And this is why we shouldn't be mean to Redditors because they've invented most dairy, I would imagine. It's the same sort of person. Red, like avid Redditors are the same sort of people that invented milk. <laughs> so we should be nice and thank them for their service. <laughs> I'd eat a roasted chicken with a side of eggs as I'm looking a hen in the eyes. I don't care. <laughs> Wilson, please, Wilson. That chicken's gonna fuck you up. We saw animals eat it, so we tried. Yeah, yeah. The thing is though, I, I wonder how far that goes because I have seen a pig eat its own excrement and it's never occurred to me to give that a go. Maybe it did to someone, you know, at one point in time. And then they were like, mm, no, this one doesn't work. Not this one. Dogs do that too. Well, yeah, exactly. Pretty sure people gave it a go. <laughs> they probably gave it a go. Listen, for every discovery, there are some misfires. Trial and error is the beauty of life. That's what it is. In a famine, you just have to eat whatever you can. Sounds like you've seen some stuff, Tiger. I've seen a pig eat pork. That's horrifying. Who gave it pork? That's horrifying. Did you know there's fish in most fish food? Goldfish food is made of goldfish. I don't know if that's true, but there is fish in it. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same kind of fish. You know, that would be a bit weird. But then again, fish eat fish in the wild. So here, here, here we are. It's a big fish eat little fish world, but like literally. 
Baby oil is made from babies. I've seen that. Yeah, they just give them a little squeeze, don't they? I've seen that. I've seen that happen. Yeah. <laughs> Mad cow's disease was from feeding cows to cows. Was it really? Mm, we shouldn't do that. It isn't a joke. <laughs> Hamsters eat their young if they can't feed them, but some birds do that too, but just for the lulls. There is a type of bird, I forgot what the bird was, it's got a really big forehead that just eats its babies for no particular reason. It just will. Like, they're fine. Like, they're fine and independent and self-sufficient, but it just comes back and eats them for, like, no purpose whatsoever. It's, like, really strange. <laughs> Hi, Lacrets, welcome in, how are you doing? Yesterday, I watched Madam Web and it had a CRT TV with a short scene of, from what I know what you, uh, I know what you did last summer. Hey, that's what you watched on the last movie night. That's fun. That's, that's cool. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember any of that movie. I wasn't doing anything else. Well, I was trying to fix my keyboard, but I wasn't doing anything else except watching the movie and I do not recall it at all. I don't know if that's saying something about me and my brain or about the movie. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's the movie's fault because that makes me feel better about me. You see what I mean? Guys, we have to go live on Instagram. When I say go live on Instagram, I don't mean go live on Instagram. I know people freak out about that. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just posting a little picture of me. And then I say live. And then I put a little link for ease. Twitch.tv forward slash percarial. How do I spell my username? That's how. And then I save it. And then I post it. I tell Facebook to fuck off. That's just part of the process. There is a setting where it can stop approaching me, but I, I choose to every single day tell it to fuck off independently. Um, and then I post it on TikTok. Yay. And that's it. And then I, I say all of this out loud because I'm incapable of multitasking. I can't possibly do this while I talk to you about anything else. That's the reason. I'm buying another Valorant knife skin. Yeah, you go to town, man. If you like knives, you get knives. This is USA. Sorry. If you like knives, you get the knives. So knives are fine. Listen, knives are fine in general. So long as no one's getting knifed. Okay, so long as that. How much olive oil could I drink? What, what, what? What is that? What? Why? What? How much could you drink? Kalfa, hi, welcome in, how are you doing? <laughs> you can use the oil from your face as cooking oil. You could actually, is that your way of saying that I'm shiny? How dare you? There were better ways, Dan. There were better ways to say, Perry, you're looking a bit sparkly today. You know, you could have called me Edward Cullen or something, right? You could have said, hey, you look like you've just been for a swim. There are so many ways, okay? Or Perry powder time, anything, okay? Instead of being like, you could use your face as cooking oil. Like that was probably the worst way you possibly could have done it. Hey, Perry, your face looks like I've zoomed in a lot to a Papa John's pizza. Stop it. We go. We are shiny though, thank you. <laughs> You're looking a bit fake vampire with questionable motives. <laughs> yeah, I prefer vampires that like for real you know are evil. Do you know what I mean? Like I prefer vampires that are vampires, right? Keep vampires, vampires. Sorry, I sound really conservative. <laughs> Do you remember back in the good old days? <laughs> okay, when vampires were vampires and people were people. <laughs> No, but you know what? I'd take a vampire that was trying to kill me over Edward fucking Cullen. I'd take a- all I'm saying is I would take a murderer who I knew was a murderer over a nonce who I thought was my friend. That's the- that's the difference. That's- that's where it is. I'd rather know there was a vampire over there trying to kill me than a vampire over there trying to have sex with my tiny, tiny little child body. That's- that's what I'm saying. No? Do you guys agree? Or, or would you rather the nonce? Who would you rather? Would you would you rather Edward Cullen or Dracula? Because at least you know you could avoid that one, you know? And he's not going to get weirdly obsessed with you because he just wants to eat. So it's like, he can eat you, but he could eat someone else too equally. Whereas Edward Cullen's like, oh my God, she's so different. She's not like other girls. <gasps> she's amazing. She's the love of my life. I'm going to follow her and watch her sleep even when she doesn't pay me any attention and has actively said she doesn't like me. 
I don't know, like, OG Dracula's kind of hot. Okay, so that wasn't necessarily an option. You want to fuck OG, OG Dracula? <laughs> He'll kill you! Do you know who... Although... The, is Dracula the one with the three, like, demon girls? Do you remember the three demon girls? There you go. I have UV lights. <laughs> I can kill vampires. <laughs> if he just gets too sparkly, he blinds himself and then it's all over. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot that OG vampires were allergic to sunlight. They like explode. Do you know who I like? The best kind of vampire? Uh, Scooby-Doo Mexico vampires. They literally look like weird creatures. And if they're in the sunlight, they literally explode within like two seconds, like explode, like chunks of flesh in your face type of thing. Is Edward strong or just sparkly? <laughs> I love how those things are like different for you. Th those things are, it's one or the other. He can't be strong and sparkly. He's either strong or sparkly because if he's both, then you know, God doesn't give with both hands. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> He can't be strong and sparkly. That's bullshit. <laughs> the Buffy vampires exploded too. Did they? In the sunlight? I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen Angel in the sun. They are allergic. I don't remember. Guys, it's time to watch Buffy again. It's time to watch Buffy again. I watch Buffy every single time I forget it. Forget it because it's my favorite show, but you can't watch it all the time because then you get sick of it, right? So you have to wait until you've forgotten it and then it's Buffy time. And Buffy time used to be just like a few months. And I think the last time I watched Buffy was about three, four years ago because every time you watch it, right? It gets harder and harder to forget, but it's Buffy time now. Yay, Buffy time. It only took three years to forget the show. Let's do it. And then it's gonna take me a decade. <laughs> Never watched Buffy, but I love Angel. That is a rogue statement to say. Angel is a really good show. Like, it's a really good show. It might be as good or better than Buffy even. Um, but what do you mean you've watched Angel but not Buffy? But there's a whole bit like that's like crossover law. You just have no idea what's going on. Buffy appears in Angel. And you just have no clue what's happening. You don't know who that bitch is. Who's this blonde girl and why do they seem like they love each other? <laughs> What? <laughs> what about charmed? Dull. In my humble opinion. In my humble opinion. I, to be fair, I haven't got past the first season, so maybe it gets good. Okay. To be fair, Buffy was real weird. I love the music and I like the characters. Okay, so my official statement was too strong. I think I would like charmed. I, I think I haven't watched enough to say. The first season of Buffy was really weird too. You have to get past the first season of Buffy to really enjoy Buffy because it's like, it's it's really strange. And it's like every episode's like a kid show, but it's my favorite show of all time. And it gets good, it gets dark and it gets sexy. <laughs> Buffy sounds like a nice sandwich. It really does. What would be in it? Like buffalo mozzarella, maybe some beef, maybe some mint sauce. I'm on episode three. I need appreciation for of which of which, of, of Buffy or of Charmed? In which, either way, good going. Episode three, <laughs> good going. I liked it as a kid, but I only saw the middle seasons. My mother is obsessed with it, which usually means that it's a terrible show. Her favorite film is The Lake House. Who have I triggered? Who likes The Lake House? Listen, I love Keanu Reeves and I love, oh my God, what's her name? Oh my God, what's her name? Oh my God, this is the biggest blank of all time. What's her name? Sandra Bullock, thank you. How can I forget? She's a queen. But the lake house was... <sighs> the time traveling mailbox. It's a, ti it's a time traveling mailbox and Sandra Bullock falls in love with Keanu Reeves through the mailbox, spoilies. Mama approved media, mm, yeah. So her favorite shows are The Ghost Whisperer, Charmed, and The Lake House. So, I, ju I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know anymore. Just not sure. 
Perry, I love Keanu Reeves. Also, Perry refuses to put the Matrix on the movie night poll. 10 o'clock is my bedtime, okay? 10 o'clock is my bedtime. We never start watching this film before 8.30, okay? I'm not gonna watch a two and a half hour movie, okay? It's my bedtime, all right? And if you want a little chit chat before and you want a little chit chat afterwards, we cannot be watching a two and a half hour movie because then I will fall asleep and I'll leave it on. I'll forget you're all there and I'll show my screen and I'll probably end up doxing myself. It's a matter of safety, okay? It's a matter of safety to not watch a two and a half hour movie. Also, I won't be able to focus for that long of a time and I will start seriously resenting you i will resent all of you i will resent every single one of you if you make me watch a two and a half hour movie yes i did go and see dune 2 which is three hours long but i saw it in 40x okay 40x and timothy chalamet was in there being sexy so that's the point point. and yes i know keanu reeves is also in the matrix being sexy but that's not the point i don't trust that his sexiness is the same as it was in like time traveling mailbox, Bill and Ted. You know, I don't trust it. I also don't want to ruin Keanu Reeves for myself. If I've got Bill and Ted in my head, you know, and I've got him on a catwalk now in my head, I'm worried the Matrix will ruin Keanu Reeves for me. But I don't know if it will. I'm just stressed out about it. 40X is so silly. It's so silly. It's so fun. It's so good. <laughs> you resent us all anyway. <laughs> that, that is so untrue. I resent you when you make me watch a two and a half hour movie. I can't focus for that long. I can't. I can't do it. I'll be honest, I can't really focus for 90 minutes either, which is why I never have any idea what happened in the movie we watch. Also, also, also. Okay, we are chatting the whole way through it. We are consistently talking the whole way through every single movie. So, guys, come to movie night, Fridays, 8 p.m. <laughs> My time, GMT. Uh, context for why everyone keeps talking about, about downloading stuff. I was trying to fix my keyboard, what with downloading different sorts of, uh, forgot the word. Drivers and things. Um, and every time there was a download, it made the film buffer and everyone screamed at me. You guys scream at me a lot. Do you know this? Do you realize this? Do you know how much you scream at me? Do you know how much you put my name in all caps all the time? Just all the time. Perry stresses me out. My mum does that. My manager does that. Okay. <laughs> it goes both ways. Perry. <laughs> parry. I know I can parry. Theaters need to bring back intermission. Good for your bladder and good for the concession stand. It is good for the concession stand. And plays have this. If it's like a 90 minute film, I understand why not. But a three hour film, everyone would buy, literally everyone would buy twice as much if they had an intermission. And I mean, you don't, it means you don't have to miss the movie. Cause there are some people, I saw a man in a, in a cowboy hat go to the bathroom three times. He must have something wrong with him. That's what I was thinking. And I was like, poor guy, poor guy. He deserves an intermission. You know, he's missing Dune <laughs> and it's 40X. Do you know how hard it is to get out of a 40x seat? I mean, it's, it's not it's not that hard, but you never really know when the drama's coming. That's the point. You never really know when your chair's gonna go. Um, so if you're mid getting up, that's how you break an ankle. So my guy was risking life and death to go to the bathroom three times. Life and death. Poor thing. Is June really that long? All I'm saying, intimacy, is that I went to the cinema at seven o'clock and I left at 10:20. That's all, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's it. Did you take his Dune popcorn bucket? I live in a really bad area, so there are, there were no Dune popcorn buckets, which was really annoying. Really annoying. I wanted a sandworm flashlight. I mean, popcorn bucket. Just pause the movie. If you destroy the theater, like if you throw a brick at the screen, they'll have to redo the screen and then you get a good like hour break. You can make your own intermission or get a refund. Although not if you're the person who threw the brick. Well, then again, you probably get like a good year long intermission because you'd get banned from the cinema. So that's probably upsetting. <laughs> Going to sit down and the cinema moves the seat from under you, literally. <laughs> Life and death. Life and death. <laughs> the movie itself is two hours and 40, but with ads and stuff, it becomes three hours. Ads are my favorite part of the cinema. Do you guys play the advert game? 
do play the advert game at cinemas. I love it. I love it. It's a, a big reason to go to the cinema, actually, the advert game. So basically, uh, there are adverts. There are, it's, there's two sections. I go to the cinema too much. There's two sections. Uh, it starts with like product adverts and then it goes into movie trailers and then you play the movie, right? That's how it works. So the two rounds of a game, the best kind of system. You've got game structure right there, two rounds. You have to guess what it's advertising before they say the word or like it's a clear logo or something. You can decide the rules amongst yourselves. For us, car logos don't matter because we have no fucking clue what the car logos are. So that still counts. Um, but yeah, before they say or show the word on the screen, you have to guess what the brand is. And then you, you get a point if you get it right. And there are arguments. It gets heated because no, they already played that advert before. You can't, every single time Domino's comes up on the screen, you can't have Domino's, okay? You know it's Domino's. Well, then you should just be quicker, shouldn't you? You should just be quicker. If you know it's Domino's, then we have equal chance to get this right. And if you snooze, you lose, bitch. Oh, Perry, I'm dyslexic. I can't keep up with it. Well, that seems like a skill issue. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you for the luck. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Guess the pizza. It's always double pepperoni every single time. I don't know why, actually. Or it's like a veg veggie one. They like to promote the veggie one because it looks good with all the colors. Ableism on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they should have uh they should have a trivia at the end of the movie see if you were paying attention <laughs> that sounds like a horrible idea it's a capitalism contest yes it is yes it is movie trailers is really hard but that's why it comes second because it's it's the harder round but you can make it up for someone who uh, has memory issues and is dyslexic cleedum does really well at the movie trailers so I'm pulling the memory issues. Oh, my memory's bad. I'm pulling that as a, as a lie. I'm getting scammed, getting cheated there. <laughs> Do you? Do you have memory issues? You seem to remember this pretty clearly, even though you've only seen it one time two months ago. <laughs> my memory is only good for useless things. That's a fun skill. That's a fun skill. See, it's not useless though, because people will be having a conversation, right? And then randomly you'll just be able to be like, 1872, that's when that happened. And people will be like, oh, you're so clever. So that's quite fun. No, like no one cares that it happened in 1872 and it is meaningless and it doesn't matter whatsoever, but you know it. And then people will think that you're really smart and then everyone will love you. And then all of the babes from the Lynx commercials will get drawn to you like a magnet. And you'll just be swimming in babes 24 seven. That's what, that happens. No, does that, that not happen? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know why Mushroom Alfredo thinks he was in 1872. Chat, uh, Mushroom Alfredo isn't real, uh, but you can talk to him. He's very uncool. Very, very uncool as a, as a human being. Mana, thanks for the 11 months. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 1872 is so 1872. But do you know what happened? Not in 1872, but in 1972? Wait, am I right? No. Close. 1989. It's only 12 years away. In the grand scheme of time, that's like five minutes. Basically five minutes. In the grand scheme of infinite time, Julius Caesar getting stabbed was basically five minutes ago. So I'm still right. I'm still right. Thank you. I'm an engineer. That's what that means. <laughs> I make that joke too often. <laughs> Alfredo is the coolest person here. Alfredo is strange. We were trialing him out last night on other people's chats. We thought he was ready. We put him in a chat with 7,000 viewers, which is good. It was good to go bigger than smaller because bigger means massive swimming chat that no one's going to get uh, like upset. Um, there were 7,000 viewers in this chat and Mushroom Alfredo. And we <laughs> we were trialing him out because we thought he was ready. And he started like speaking as someone else. Like a real person in the chat. For, no, I don't know why he was doing that. I have no idea why he was doing that because that's not coded. I don't, we never, I don't know why he was doing that. 
What indeed? Yeah, so he'd say a message and then he'd reply to himself as someone else. So he'd have like Nelson64 colon a message replying to himself. And Nelson64 was a dude in the chat. And I just, <laughs> and we were like, get him out, pull him out, pull him back. <laughs> go, 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 retreat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's very peppy. Let's do this. He told off someone, someone else, a chatter as well. Again, in a 10,000 person chat, he told someone off and was like, that's inappropriate. Let's keep it lighthearted and fun. Get him out of there! <laughs> My, um, a chatbot. Mushroom Alfredo is not real. He's a chatbot. You can talk to him. But there he is. There he is. Sorry, YouTube chat. He's only on Twitch, unfortunately. I read, have you got Obsidian? Help me. Do you have Obsidian? You play too much Minecraft. How much Minecraft have you played in the last week? If it's more than like 10 hours. I'm playing it right now. Oh my God. The, ki the kids yearn for the mines. That's what they mean when they say mines, Minecraft. Though I wish I played more Minecraft. I I'm struggling to get into Minecraft is the thing. You know, I feel like once I get into Minecraft, I will really like Minecraft, but I'm struggling to get into Minecraft because I'm really bad at Minecraft. Hence why my Minecraft with mind control thing kind of fizzled away a little bit. We're, bringing we're gonna bring it back. It's going to have a second iteration, but it fizzled away a little bit because I'm really, really bad at Minecraft. I had to get someone in to help me. Do you think you're the main character of this stream or is it the Perry girl? And Alfredo says, Perry's the star here. I'm just the sidekick bringing extra mushroom magic. He's legit the most uncool person I've ever met. It's like legit the most uncool person ever will there be Elden Ring DLC with with your mind yep 100 p uh I've already set people on it hopefully I won't have to pay for the DLC hopefully I can get a sponsorship thing out of it which would be pretty cool I'm already working on that and that's what's gonna happen gonna post a YouTube video maybe 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 potentially maybe also I should be posting a YouTube video on the 31st of March and then the 31st of every single month since then because this is another thing that a manager can do that I can't do myself deadlines and telling me off Perry have this now where is it and I start sobbing hysterically um but then I get it done so you're welcome <laughs> there it is Perry's trying to hasten the AI apocalypse the machines won't save you you know. Is today a HelloFresh advert day? To no day is a HelloFresh advert day. No day ever. How much luck has Tonya had with enforcing these deadlines? <laughs> Listen, I say, can I move the deadline? And she says, yes. So it's not that I miss deadlines, it's that I move them and she can say no. Although she did tell me off. I said I need a few more days and she said this that's what you said a week ago. I'm joking, chat. I'm actually quite on top of things. I'm I'm exaggerating. I need you to know that I'm exaggerating. <laughs> but you know what day it is? It's time to get it stop it, Worko. Stop it! <laughs> Why did I read that out? Uh, right, so, chat, chatterinos, what's the furthest deadline you've pushed? Mm, probably at uni. I've never pushed a deadline more than a week and a bit, you know? Because because by the time I pushed it a week, I start feeling really, really bad, and then I get on it, you know? So, yeah, I never push, push deadlines that much. What are you guys like with deadlines? Or what were you like? with deadlines if we're, if we're talking like school and uni. But we might not be talking school and uni. How are you guys like with deadlines? I'm a month late on my master's thesis. <laughs> oh no, Ash! You've told people though, yeah? Like it's okay? They're not gonna mark you down or anything? Or are you just a month late? You just haven't handed it in? Are you telling us you failed? <laughs> you, isn't it like... 
<laughs> okay, it's March. I was gonna be like, isn't it July? Do you even go there anymore? <laughs> mm, no comment. Oh no, no. Deadlines are like a drug that gets more potent as the date approaches. What, you love it? You leave things to the last minute for the adrenaline. <sighs> it's the only time you feel alive when someone could yell at you soon. Also chat, also chat. Also. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> No, it was really good. It was a really good question. And it was funny and it would have yielded good answers from you lot. And I've totally forgotten what it was. Like straight away. Also, <laughs> it's like one of those memes where it's like, forget everything you know. <laughs> I just, just did. I just did. No, no clue. What are we talking about? Deadlines. They're just a suggestion. I've got an English exam. It's almost a year old. Mm, mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. To be fair, I know someone, okay, I know someone who had to return all their library books. This was school, right, before they went to sixth form. So this is 16 years old. Um, and most schools have a sixth form in belt. That's the school between 16 and 18. So most most schools have a, six, a sixth form in the same school. So you don't have to leave, you just go. Um, so I know someone, it wasn't me. <laughs> But I know someone who took out loads and loads and loads and loads of library books and they had to return them or they won't uh, they weren't allowed to go to the sixth form. And so that's quite stressful, right? You have to return all the books right now or we're not going to let you into the sixth form. We're going to kick you out basically uh, at the end of the year. So he left. <laughs> he went to a different school <laughs> and kept all the books. <laughs> <laughs> like ridiculous yeah what chad move <laughs> he was like okay <laughs> oh and that's how i met cleden <laughs> is actually that's true true story true true story that one yeah that's <laughs> oh dear oh dear that is genuinely yeah he came to my sick form anyway <laughs> never obey the ultimatum commit to the bit exactly exactly never obey the ultimatum yes because the person giving you the ultimatum doesn't have your best interests in mind they are manipulative and they are abusive so fuck that librarian <laughs> i think i think most people aren't really talking about librarians when they say stuff like that <laughs> but it's true it's true though librarians librarians are weird librarians have a power complex because they own the books you know they're the keeper of books which means they're the keeper of knowledge and when you put someone in a position of power like that they seriously it goes straight to their head you know yeah theft is cool mm. we don't condone crime repeat we don't condone crime thank you thank you earth as we know it right welcome Unless our ultimatum is coming from a healthcare professional. Do not defy your doctor willy-nilly like that. Especially not if he's got his willy-nilly out. What if your family was starving? In regards to the librarian. <laughs> Slice and dice, I I'm not sure. Send him to the chop shop. That's what I call, again, we don't condone crime. Repeat, we don't condone crime. Again, that's, no, I've forgotten, totally forgotten. Uh, that's what I used to call Pokemon Go. You know in Pokemon Go, you can send Pokemon and exchange them for the same Pokemon candy. You're 100% chopping and changing your Pokemon. You're sending them to the chop shop and then they're milking them and then giving you back the same Pokemon. What do you think is in those candies? Why is it for a specific Pokemon? Yeah, cannibalism. It's a game of cannibalism and murder. That's what Pokemon Go is. And then everyone's like, oh. Power World is so gross and insane. Power World is so like disgusting because you can chop shop your Pokemon, your pals. You can do that in Pokemon Go, man. Pokemon Go is the first iteration of sending Pokemon to the to chop shop. Milking them, ew, well, I don't know. There's Pokemons that are, Pokemons? Pokemon, Pokemon's already plural, isn't it? There's Pokemon that are literally just cows. What are you supposed to do? Milk those babies. <laughs> In exceptional circumstances, you're allowed to steal. Oh, you mean stealing if your family was starving or like if there's a treatment that will cure your child of syphilis or something, then yeah, you can probably steal the treatment. I don't know. Listen, morality is not the same thing as legality. 
Like a 65 year old having sex with a 16 year old. Legal, not moral. But there it is. FBA, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. That topic scares me. It scares me too. Yeah. Leave the Pokemon in their genitalia be. <laughs> what? I feel like. I feel like. This is a good time to, to move on. <laughs> this is a good time to start the topic. I would imagine. If you're in imminent danger, you can milk a Pokemon. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> if someone's got a gun to your head and they're saying, milk this Pokemon or I'll kill you. <laughs> then you can, <laughs> then, then you, yeah, you can do it. Byung, were you having an entire conversation with a bot? Oh, you fell for the Mushroom Alfredo Riz. That's what that is. Were you arguing with him? He's very uncool as a human being. Well, he's not a human being, so there it is. Thank you for the follow, Vin. I appreciate that. Isn't it canonical that Pokemon eat other Pokemon? Is it? Well, they're just like animals, you know? Some of them are bugs. I feel like the cow would eat the bug. The cows eat bugs? I don't know. If there's a Pokemon that's basically a flower, you can't expect the cow not to eat the flower. You know, that flower looks delicious. Hiya, boy. Welcome in. What's your obsession? Oh, that's actually a very good question. Chat. I'm annoyed that you came up with it and not me. I'm annoyed that it didn't occur to me to ask you. Damn it. Can we get your boy out? Can, can, we, get, can we get them out of the chat so that I can pretend I came up with that and there's no evidence? Can we like do a little time? No, I'm joking. <laughs> can we ban them? No. <laughs> chat. I've come up with an amazing question all by myself. What's your obsession? Let's do anonymous obsessions later on. That'll be good. No censorship. I don't know why you think this is a democracy. Once again, it's a benevolent dictatorship. So censorship is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> uh. Let's, uh, yeah, actually, is Alfredo, Alfredo's talking too much, isn't he? Speaking of censorship, let me slow down his cooldown. Okay, I didn't code this and I can't, I thought I could figure it out. I found out how many messages he read, he reads. I know how to change that. How do I change the cooldown? Where is it? What's some words? Jude, you know what the line is, Cleed? I didn't code this one. I'll, I'll, I'll give it another look. Young Wolf, thanks for the follow. It's on line 37. If you're right, you get a prize. Is it the bit that says random underscore message underscore something? Uh, and then there's numbers 2, 10, 8, 180. Is that what it is? And then I change the numbers. Because that's that's two more two more numbers than I expected to see. So I don't want to change anything if that's... Is that what it is? Clean up! Are you playing Helldivers? Is that why you can't answer me? Am I going to have to go in? Am I going to have to come in there? God damn it, chat.
There's no cooldown. It got removed. So I'm pretty proud of myself that I couldn't find it. You know? Well, I thought I did find it. So I'm still an idiot. But still... <laughs> I'm trying to increase the cooldown of my our chatbot Mushroom Alfredo because he's, you know, he's too much. But can't do that, so you're just gonna have to tolerate him. He's gonna be fine. Women scare me, says Mike and Peckfex. Two people, two people in chat, in YouTube chat. Of course it's YouTube. Of course it's YouTube chat. Chat. Put one in the chat. I've said the word chat a lot. It's starting to lose its meaning. Chat, 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 chat. Put a one in the chat if you if women scare you. Yeah. Alex, straight in there before I even finish the question. Oh god, that's a lot of people. <laughs> that's that's a lot of people. There's a lot of ones there. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Penny says one. Fair. Fair enough. If women what? If women scare you, Tim. If women scare you. Do I count? Not one woman in particular, women in general. You know, you can't be like, oh yeah, this woman scares me, and therefore, you know, because La Chorona. Which, remember that, Chirona, very important. I'm saying that in the most British way I possibly could. Actually, the most British way to say Chirona is Larona. So, fuck you. But anyway, Chirona, La Chirona, is a Colombian Spanish idea, I think. Don't really know where it's from. But it's basically a weeping lady. So it's like that classic, imagine girl from the ring, but adult woman. And she's in a white robe with her hair over her face. And she just like appears and she tries and kills you. You know, classic horror movie, weeping lady sort of thing. La, ter La Terona. Yes, exactly. Remember that. See, that woman would scare me. That doesn't mean I'm scared of women. You know, not the same. I'm Spanish and triggered. How do you say it, Maya? Chirona. <laughs> I took five years of Spanish. Can't you tell? Can't you tell? Je voudre. Oh, that's French. <laughs> Fuck, immediately French. Uh, yo hablo. Or just hablo if you're cool. Uh, Inglés. Mi madre. Conoce. Okay, I don't want to be rude. This isn't true. It's just the only word I can think of. Nada. That's. <laughs> is that like? Is that good Spanish? It's not true. She knows many things. <laughs> oh yeah, I, Roni, thank you. Donde esta la biblioteca? Mi amo T-Bone, la arranja discoteca. Discoteca, muñeca, la biblioteca. Exactly, I do know some Spanish. There you go, amazing, amazing. Happy mother is Mother's Day. Shit, is it Mother's Day? Chat, is it Mother's Day? When's Mother's Day? Well, I don't know why I'm asking you. Every country has it different. British people, when's Mother's Day? 10th of March. Fuck! Okay, first person I'm messaging is my brother. Because he's forgotten too. It's an unspoken agreement we have. Mother's Day. Today. And then... Happy Mother's Day. To my actual mother. Yay! Done, chat. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Amazing. Good work, everyone. Good work. Clutch. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Is it weird that I have an obsession with Nelson from The Simpsons? Not in a romantic way, sure, but he's always been my favorite character. What, the boy that's a bully that points at people and goes, ha ha, that's... He's your favorite character, yeah? Why... Why is he your favorite character? He's a real one. That scares me, Mike. That scares me. Mike, by the way, can I just say, Mike is also the person who said women scare me. So that's... That's Mike. I'm building up a profile of you in my head. I've got a picture of you, Mike. <laughs> I don't mind it. It's not bad. It's interesting. If you both text her at the same time, it's going to look sus. <laughs> uh, also, if he knew that it was Mother's Day and he didn't text me, I'm going to be mad and I'm going to come to where he lives. And I'm going to be like, Oi! What's that about? And I'm gonna be bamboozled. Siblings, people with siblings in chat. Do you guys do this too? Like birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas. Maybe not Christmas. But do you guys remind each other of these things? No? No. Well, clearly you hate each other and you have no relationship. So. 
Yes, okay, some of you do. Okay, cool. I don't talk to them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Altruism, welcome. I do it for my siblings, but they don't do it for me. Oh, It's so nice that you keep doing it, even if they disrespect you. You know, that's really nice. That's love, you know? Don't expect anything in return. I'm always the one being reminded. I see that for you, Joro. I see, I see that for you. <laughs> Nelson is funny and he's supposed to be funny. So it's perfectly normal that I like his character. Mike is protesting too much. Sorry that I keep referring to you in third person. I'm, I'm sorry, I am sorry about that. <laughs> no, if they don't wish, Oh, sorry, I yelled no, but you're actually just answering the question. No, if they don't wish, but I do, then I get a few more imaginary points. I don't understand your sentence structure. I do understand your premise, so it's fine. <laughs> Mike doth protest too much. Yes, indeed. I feel cool now. <laughs> As if I'm not the person always being reminded. All right, it's time to find out if I've been betrayed. Active an hour ago? Who spends more than an hour not on their phone? What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, what day is it? It's Sunday. Yeah, what are you doing? I know for a fact he has no friends. I'm <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> Perry, can you say hi to Mike from Twitch chat for us? Mike, Twitch chat says hi. Actually, all of Twitch chat says hi to all of YouTube chat and vice versa. Vice versa. Mingle. You can mingle together over here. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Just look at this and not yourselves. And then look, you're all best friends, best friends. It doesn't even distinguish. Actually, it does. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't even distinguish where you're from. It's beautiful. And look at look at me strumming. <laughs> I don't talk to people over the phone much anymore. I mean, yeah, I don't remember the last time I've called someone. Yesterday. <laughs> people call me, but it's usually like telemarketers. And then I tell them they should get a different job. And then they cry. <laughs> This happened one time and I feel really bad. I feel really bad about it. I feel so bad. I was like, yeah, you shouldn't be calling me or anyone. Ever. And he was like, what? And people have told me not to feel bad, but I feel really bad. Anyway. <laughs> Tiny, thanks for the bits. Hello, friends. Hello. Swash, welcome in. How are you doing? Hi, EB. What's up? You can break the chaff wall by chatting in both. That's true. You can break the chat wall. You can, you can indeed. I always, I get annoyed when someone calls me instead of texting me. Yes, especially if it doesn't need to be a call. Like if it doesn't need to be a call, then why are you calling me? It's like meetings in work, you know? If this doesn't need to be a meeting, if this could have been an email, then make it an email. Okay, if it doesn't need to be a call, a phone call, if you're not literally dying or you don't need my attention or an answer to something right now, then why aren't you texting me? Also, do you know what pisses me off? Okay, doctors, full stop. No, doctors who are like, oh, we've called you every day for the last week and you didn't pick up. You have my phone number, you have my email, you have my address. Okay, did you try to text me? Did you try to email me? Did you try to send me a letter? No, just phone calls. And then you're mad at me for not seeing your method of communication. You had options, babe. Write it down, click send. Oh, we don't have the text capacity. Why the fuck not? Why? You can make it so that they can't text you back. That's what most people do. Why don't you, t if fucking EE has a text function, you can have a text function, okay? A, a, a place that's supposed to inform me when I'm dying and or, you know, seriously ill should have a text function. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. My old pharmacy used to fax. They used to fax. And then they got upset when the, the, um, the, the other pharmacy they were trying to get into, into touch with, they didn't have a fax machine. And they were like, well, what am I supposed to do? They asked me. They asked me, that Boots doesn't have a fax machine? And I was like, probably not, no. And they were like, well, what are we supposed to do then? To me. Email? <laughs> they have an app. Boots has an app, dick. 
You don't, you don't have the app? I can download it for you if you want. No? Send a pigeon. Send a fucking pigeon. I don't know. What are you What are you trying to do? Do you have like one of those things that does the... What are they what are they called? Anyone? What's that called? Morse code. Yeah, but what's the machine called? A telegram. Send a fucking telegram. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Send smoke signals. Cast the Batman sigil into the air. Or so <laughs> Page me. <laughs> My my page number is 80085420. Oh no. Could have sent a telegram. Need milk, stop. Please get milk on way home, stop. Carton in French is empty, stop. We'll have conversation about storing empty cartons, stop. <laughs> we'll have conversation about this later. <laughs> send a courier or something. Feet. Yeah, send a little page boy to sprint there. <laughs> That's what you should do with a with a with a wax steeled envelope. You just sprint to the other location. That's what they used to do in cowboy times, which, by the way, only lasted 10 years. And yeah, everyone's obsessed with cowboys. Speaking of obsession, speaking of obsession. A band member. <laughs> <laughs> nice, thank you. A band member. I'm getting into the topic. That was my segue. It was a very short segue, but I think it worked. Anyway, speaking of obsession, right, right. A band member from the band called Cherona. I'm saying that right. I'm not saying that right. I don't know. Anyway, there's a band called Cherona. You can look them up, but you won't find anything apart from this news article because they don't exist anymore for the following reason. Well, they were really small beforehand and they didn't have any recordings and they did like two to three shows. So it was very hard to find them anyway. They did have an Instagram page, but they since this drama, they have deleted all their social media. Impossible to find. I did find this, however. Now this is not relevant, like at all. But when you Google Lorona band into YouTube, yeah, it's all the news and stuff, but you also get where was it? It was really good. You also get this one. And and this is not relevant. This is not the band. But I thought I can't give I can't do a topic on a band and not play you music. So imagine this is the same band. I mean it's not. It's completely different. Anyway, here's some music for you. Imagine it's them. But it's not. This is a random song. By someone else. <laughs> They're not even Spanish, the band. They're from Tennessee. <laughs> Was he filing his nails? I love that. <laughs> just, just imagine that this is the same thing. Okay, I'll skip forward. It's actually, it's actually pretty cool. This is not the band. Um. Okay, so that is a band that is loosely associated what with the same word, which I'm now going to change my pronunciation of to Yorona because that's what they said. Um, so that's probably closer. Anyway, the band is not called Yorona, the band is called Della Muertes. This is a completely different band. Anyway, <laughs> music! And they are also a hardcore rock band, so I ba basically the same thing, chat. Basically the same thing. Anyway, the band Yorona. Yorona. I don't fucking know. It's fine. I'll show you this, okay. They got into some controversy lately because the singer, Diego, Diego, the singer, was super obsessed with the bassist's fiance, Caroline. Caroline loved her, absolutely fucking infatuated, delicious, delightful, wanted to put his tongue in her ear, just all day, every day, just absolutely obsessed, okay? And therefore he hated the bassist, most likely for that reason. I doubt there's another reason. There might be other reasons. I don't know their lives, but basically, yeah, that was the reason. Absolutely fuming at the bassist whose name is Six. Definitely not his real name. 
It has two X's in it. Anyway, here they are. There's spoilies in this title I'm gonna skip. Here they are. Uh, we'll allow the ads on the Daily Mail. So this is, I don't think we're doing any spoilers on this page. That's cool, unless you saw the title. Anyway, um, this is Caroline. This is six, the bassist. Uh, this is Caroline. This is six. We've got more. This is six. <laughs> This is Caroline. This is six. What I love about the, the, the couple is they always have matching hair, which is so freaking cute. Look at it. Look at the matching hair. Anyway, that's six and that's Caroline. The point is, <laughs> I think we've covered what six and Caroline look like. I can't find a picture of Diego anywhere. Diego is the singer. I know there was a dude singing. That's still six. He just happened to be singing then. So there it is. Anyway, look how happy they look. Look how in love. Yeah, wait, who's who? This is six and this is Caroline. Caroline six. <laughs> I love the color. It's so good, isn't it? And they always match. When they had blue hair, they both had blue hair. When they had red hair, they both had red hair. It was so cute. Uh, anyway, they're engaged. So that's his fiance. And the singer, super obsessed with her, which you can kind of see that, you know, she looks so cool and approachable. So, and it's hard to look cool and approachable at the same time. So I can see why you'd get obsessed with Caroline. Anyway, also her name is Caroline, which you just don't see the name Caroline anymore unless they're like 54. You don't have the name Caroline. And I love the name Caroline. So cute. You can call him Carib for short, like the plant. So there it is. Imagine getting covertly... No, spoilers, Swash! Spoilers! So... <laughs> Rango and Grumpy, thank you for the follows. I appreciate that. Wonder if it has a meaning. Well, the name Caroline. That's a good point. Free man or free woman? Freedom, I guess. Free person, independence, agency etc pretty cool pretty cool anyway so diego super in love with her as i've stated already therefore hated six now he got really drunk and told them about that he got really absolutely freaking wasted one night and was like yeah i'm obsessed he used the word obsessed i'm obsessed with caroline and i hate six with a burning passion i hate him and therefore, and this is what also he admitted to when he was drunk, which is the stupidest way to get caught doing something. Therefore, I need, I wanted to appear to be more manly than six. Because clearly that's what she likes. Clearly she didn't choose to go out with someone who for all intents and purposes, I would describe as some sort of fanboy twink sort of situation. She clearly didn't pick him because that's her type. No, no, no. She wanted a big bulky gym dude, of course obviously so you know the logic isn't all there but she was he was like i want to be more manly than him um so i'm gonna hit the gym at the same time as poisoning six with estrogen <laughs> so that's what he did he had this gym powder uh this pre-workout powder and he put estrogen in the pre-workout powder gave it to six um so that he would be more manly and masculine than six and would make him like, yeah, forced twinkification. <laughs> Is that what you called it? <laughs> forced twinkification. YouTube for the win. <laughs> yeah, non-consenting forced twinkification. That's what occurred this day. <laughs> and so that's what happened. That's what happened. Now, how did the bassist Diego get estrogen? Well. He has a job. They are a very tiny band. They don't have any recordings. They've only done two and three shows. So they all have jobs, right? I imagine, I don't know specifically, I imagine that uh, his job is some sort of hospital nursing situation. He has access to a bunch of different things to lace with steroids, hormones, and estrogen stuff. He would get it for free. He would take it. And maybe he's a pharmacist or something because it was like whole unopened boxes that he could get. He, they just gave it to him. He didn't steal it, I don't think. You know, because that's the bad part of this story. Heaven forbid he steals something. You know, poisoning is enough, but stealing? <sighs> Gone too far. <laughs> Can't you just order that online? You probably can. Yeah, estrogen pills. Why not? Sure you can. 
They did it in John Tucker Must Die. So there it is, there it is. Unforgivable, no, for reals, for reals. So that's what happened. He tried to force Twinkify six so that Giga Brain, he got more masculine and therefore she would want him over six. Did it work? You know, can't say that it did. <laughs> Couldn't say that it did. Now, as I pointed out, she has decided to date Six and become engaged to him. And he was never a bulky, even before the estrogen, he's not a bulky gym masculine dude, okay? He has pink hair, which is wonderful and I love it, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. And so she has decided to date him and therefore that's what she likes. That's what she's attracted to. And for some reason, Diego has decided, nope, all women want a big muscle daddy and therefore i'm gonna make six grow boobs i guess according to moist critical it only takes three months to develop breasts if you're doing like a good amount of estrogen i don't know how much estrogen you need i think that's why some women take it as a supplement because it's meant to be good for like your health and your boobs i suppose i don't know i really don't know please i'm not medical i'm not giving any medical advice don't take anything without the consent of a doctor thank you um, but there it is. <laughs> is she bi? She might like him more with booba. Maybe, maybe she'd go appreciative. I mean, the reason you shouldn't take estrogen pills or lace your pre-workout with estrogen, right? Especially without knowing about it, is because it can do a lot of damage. So let's read through the posts. Now, now. Metal Injection, which is a metal music site they covered this first and then it kind of blew up from here so here are instagram posts this instagram doesn't exist anymore because since this they've deleted all their social media but this is the post that was put on their instagram story <clears throat> oh and six is writing this we have decided to part ways with our vocalist diego due to admission of very disturbing and concerning behavior towards one of our band members and their partner he is admitting to being obsessed with said partner. I'm confident that Six wrote this. I'm confident that Six wrote this, but he's done it very neutrally. Their partner, his partner. <laughs> They're a pretty legit metal mag magazine. Anyway, let's go, let's go. Sorry, 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 sorry. We've decided to part ways with our vocalist Diego due to admission of very disturbing and concerning behavior towards one of our bad members and their partner. He's admitted to being obsessed with said partner and has been attempting to sabotage their relationship by cutting pre-workout he frequently, I think that's supposed to be gets, from his job with high amounts of estrogen in them. He has been attempting to force a transition onto him for the last five months. He's been doing this for five months. Twinkification, as we're calling it. In hopes that would give him the opportunity to swoop in once he looks stronger and more manly in comparison. Which is a stupid caveman mindset that makes zero sense. <laughs> this tampering has caused confusion and thousands of dollars in medical bills the past months trying to figure out what's wrong. We would not know any of this unless Diego had gotten way too intoxicated and ousted himself and then stated an omission to all of this via text. There are many more disgusting details that have been left out for the sake of privacy and general censorship. Guy is weirdly obsessed with dude's fiance. What do you think the disgusting details are? Not that we know, not that we should guess. You know, this is their private lives, etc. I think he's stolen some underwear. There was a girl who was obsessed with Harry Styles and she broke into his hotel room when he was on tour one day and stole his underwear. And he caught her. Like he came into the hotel room and was like, what? Uh, and then apparently she escaped by v via balcony <laughs> with the underwear. <laughs> just like some weird gremlin, just like. Uh, anyway, anyway, it's just so you know, they were boxers. <laughs> Don't know why that detail was in the news article, but it was. <laughs> boxers, specifically. Harry Styles is boxers. <laughs> what a national hero. <laughs> you should read the BTS Dan stories. Are they real? Like, people get obsessed with BTS. I can see, I mean, people are obsessed with all of these celebrities, right? There was a dude who meowed into Kira Knightley's letterbox. Meow. <laughs> Kept sending 
sending her tapes. Our best friend John, John Hinckley keeps to this day writing love songs to Jodie Foster, even though he was arrested and imprisoned because he tried to assassinate the president for Jodie Foster. John Hinckley, our best friend. We're not gonna bring him up again, except I just did. We might at some point play another one of his songs that we haven't heard before because I love him and I love it. Uh, but there it is. What the fuck am I reading? Forced twinkification. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. What do you think the disgusting details that have been left out for the sake of privacy and general censorship were? I'm saying underwear. I'm saying pictures. I'm saying... I bet he has like a dart board and he's pinned up a picture of Six's face on it. They're in darts at her fiance. <laughs> I hate him. She wouldn't like him if she if he had boobs. <laughs> Idols and Stan's Obsessions has a hundred terrifying examples. I'm sure BTS and Blackpink have a lot of crazy fans. I'm gonna write that down so I remember we can come to it later. Blackpink and BTS. Good, 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 good devices. He has a shrine. Oh, like in his wardrobe or something. He's got loads of pictures and weird strings and candles. I imagine so. We're just, listen, we're just, uh, we're just guessing here. But, but still. Imagine that's her secret kink and she's even more into six now than ever. <laughs> I mean, maybe. He made a butter sculpture of Caroline and then ate it. <laughs> what do you do with the dirty underwear? What's the goal? Oh, tiny parrot. Oh, you are quite tiny, aren't you? Oh, that's okay. No, listen, stay innocent. That's that's fine. Why would you even want someone's dirty underwear? I know, I know. Why would you? Crazy, crazy. So sweet. Orton, stop it. <laughs> he works at Big Estrogen. This is all just a uh, this is all just a smear campaign for Big Estrogen. That's what this is. It's definitely a dartboard with Six's face on it. That's that's what I'm guessing too. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, there's more. As for Diego's response, it cannot be further from the truth on the supplement side of things. I don't know what Diego's response was. I don't know, can't find it anywhere. I'll give it another go now. The only sealed products he would provide were proteins, but the other products were always unsealed because they were tossed at his job if they couldn't sell it, hence why it was free. He also had easy access to steroids and hormones because of his gym practices. I'm going to be seeing an, endocr an endocrinologist over the next few months to track my hormonal fluctuations to see if my estrogen levels are extremely heightened and go back to normal over time. I have had physical changes from the hormones besides stomach ulcers, weight loss, and muscle fatigue that I will not get into, as well as notable mental changes. I will also be getting the last batch of pre-workout he gave me tested for estrogen. I have about two to three full cups of it left. He will not pass off what he admitted to as a joke or confusion, even in his state of drunkenness. What he did is disgusting and has an immense negative effect, effect on my life. So there's some more reasons why you shouldn't just eat estrogen. Vinyl and Death Band, thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, you shouldn't just eat estrogen. He's got like a lot of health problems and he obviously had no, for five months, he had no idea where the health problems were coming from. So that hence thousands of dollars in medical bills trying to figure out what was wrong with him. He stopped hiding who was writing it real fast. Yeah, it was so passive. And then I've had this problem, I hate him. <laughs> so here's the text messages. He says that he admitted it like properly afterwards, not drunk in text messages. And here they are, love it, yay, drama. So the person texting is Diego at the top. I'm sorry guys, the... Figured, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. The Figured project is over due to me saying some very uncomfortable and disrespectful things to Six and Caroline, such as giving Six estrogen and being obsessed with Caroline and hating Six while I was drunk. <laughs> I don't know why he'd include all that detail in, in the text me message. Rigid might fit, oh yeah, instead of Figured. What's Figured? Yeah, that's a good point. I was thinking Frigid and I couldn't let it go. Um. <laughs> I've been kicked out of Yorona as well and will no longer be in the scene. Hayden says, oh, what the fuck? Zach says, damn, son. Autumn says, damn, son, he just like me for real. Someone beginning with Z says, something, something scene sucks. So I imagine where they live right now, that scene sucks. Nashville welcomes you with open arms. And Six has commented, the Nashville scene is a fucking joke. <laughs> Six has written that over the top. 
Stephen says, wait, you can something, something, the rest is blurred out. And then the last message says, I was really drunk and told Six and his fiance that I was obsessed with her and had a deep hatred for Six and gave Six ext estrogen to get up and edge up on him, to get an edge up on him. Six says, just gonna leave these submissions here real quick. Don't want it to get all mixed up as uh, he said, she said it all. So there's a bit of drama here. I guess he's denying it. And that's why Six is posting this to like prove that it happened. Cause I guess Diego is denying it and being like, uh, no, Caroline just said this. I didn't say anything. They're like blaming me and coming at me. It was drunk, it was a mistake, blah, 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 blah. Um, but Six got him. He got him. I don't think there's any room for confusion here. That's what happened. Oh dear. <laughs> very 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 bad uh on the reddit page for this there was a comment that i loved and the comment said um he's a bassist six is a bassist he's a bassist by default he has so much testosterone that the estrogen had no effect <laughs> it's true but i went in the chat if you play bass It's based. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. You guys do Slug and Alex? And Fenox. That's cool. Bases don't exist. Can't fool me. You can always tell who plays bass by the way they dance. Okay, this is obviously not science, but it's true. You can tell by the way they dance because they'll dance weird. But they're not actually dancing weird. They're dancing to the bass line, which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard because how do you even hear it? But they do hear it because they're bassists. Um, so it's really, really strange. Like everyone else is dancing to the drums, like the beat of the song, or they're dancing to the words, you know? So it's like, I knew you were trouble when you walked in, like to the words, but bass is so strange and they do like, you know, just weird dancing. But that's because they're dancing to a bass line that no one else can hear. <laughs> <laughs> really strange. Great representation. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you can always tell when someone's a bassist because they're a terrible dancer. Well, they're a good dancer. They're just wrong. <laughs> can confirm. Amazing. True. Thank you, Wood. Welcome in. How are you doing? How do they do that while they're playing? They they give it a go. Wait, let me show you. I, I am positive that I can find this. Bassist playing bass stage. Bassist playing bass on stage. Perfect. Okay, so here he goes. Bass, bassist. Dance, monkey, dance! He, he's gonna do it. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna dance. I, prove me right, please. So he's doing a weird, I mean, I don't know why they gave the bassist. I've never seen a bassist solo before. They should give bassists more bass solos. So, okay, so he's pretty tame so far. He's getting into it. I have faith. I have faith that this is gonna work. Let me skip forward. Go on, give it to me. lamest basis ever let's find another one <laughs> they need more lights they need more thunder and lightning that's what i think solo bass go on tal show me tal show me how it's done do it do do it do the do the dancing look at her fingers man look at how she's doing that so fast it's crazy he doesn't dance he slaps he's got the rhythm of bob dylan <laughs> what's up slappers <laughs> Do it, Tal! Okay, so I wasn't proven right there, but I am right! And I know <laughs> this video with the chill music on top. <laughs> those fingers, though! Yeah, what she do with those fingers? That's crazy. They go so speed. They're so speedy! It's ridiculous. Common Perry L. No! No! Okay, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. One more. One more. Basis dancing with bass <laughs> okay okay look this is how bassists dance this is it this is how they dance just all the time okay maybe not exactly like that i don't really know what he's doing but this is exactly how they dance all the time this is what it is you recognize this that's the one look at him go 
<laughs> it's always with the like, with it's always with the weird like, you know. <laughs> That's how they dance. Fa face us. It's just all ass at the minute. I'm not complaining, but there's a lot of ass there. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Where is the yes, this dude? I guess because they have to. I think they have to hold the base still. I think I think that's what it is. See, see, look at his legs go. Look at his legs. It's always so weird. I guess they have to. They have to hold the base still. But that's how they dance even when they're not holding a base. I swear to God, that's how they dance when they're not holding a base. It's all just like. It's just always. It's a lot of ass. It's a lot of hips. And it's a lot of knees as well. The knees are bent. It's just. It's all ass. Shake what your mama gave you. That's what bases do. It's true. So there's too much testosterone in that man for the estrogen to actually affect him. That's what the Redditor said, which actually is uh, it's a simplification of the seriousness of the crime. Don't lay someone with estrogen. And he did, in fact, suffer many health problems, which are now hopefully fixed, which is pretty, pretty cool. Did you learn the windmill yet, Perry? No, not yet. Still working on it, anyone. Still working on it. I'm trying to learn break dancing. <laughs> Just for fun we did a stream on that guy who argued with his daughter about being a bad father and he left them allegedly to go become a break dancer so for that stream i learned break dancing because you know obviously it's like i did a stream about people who eat corn flour for no reason cornstarch so i ate cornstarch you just have to do these things otherwise what's even the point you know there's a we're doing a stream right now about bassists and i'm learning how to dance like a bassist Perry's gonna learn bass right now. Do we have a bass? I'm not here. In the other house. The by other house I mean parents' house. I'm poor. Um, but yeah, the yeah, the 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 we have guitars. I have a six string here. I also have a didgeridoo. In case you did didgeridoo didn't see it. <laughs> um, I also have a mini didgeridoo and an ocarina and a and a harp, not harp. What's the little harp called? Liar. You're welcome. Do you know I don't have the piano? Really want a piano. They're quite big though. <laughs> Just cut two strings from the six string and you'll have a bass. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's basically how it works. Yeah, that's it's a Nimbus 2000. <laughs> wow. What's wrong with Twitch chat? What's wait? Twitch chat is doing a good job. Everyone's doing a good job. Everyone's doing great. Play the plant. Oh Jesus! Don't worry, it's plastic. I'm not doing plant abuse. Alexa Theobis says, "I hate going fishing with Skrillex. He always drops the base." Thank you for the bits, Alex. Here we go, here we go. Hold on, how do I do this? It's percussive. It's a percussive instrument. Played what, like a guitar. It's not real. That, I, I wouldn't abuse a plant like that. It's it's plastic. <laughs> it looks like a woodwind. I'm not gonna spit on the plant if if that's if that's what you're doing. Oh Mike. Mike, I was so enjoying you. Now I have to ban you. Mike! Ruined it. Absolutely ruined it. Mike's the wedgie dude. <laughs> We have a wedgie dude that keeps plaguing the stream. Every single day, there's a new account with a different name. He keeps talking about wedgies. I don't know. I don't know why. I've given him too much attention now. He's going to come back. But <laughs> he's going to come back tomorrow because I've given him too much attention. God damn it. But still. Wow, Mike. So weird. So weird. Rest in peace. <laughs> but there it is. Not my mods. <laughs> oh, no. Hashtag no YouTube mods. Yeah, we don't have any YouTube mods. I kind of, I've let YouTube just run free a little bit. Um.
to be honest, chat, it's because there's like four YouTube chatters. And I appreciate the four YouTube chatters. But you're manageable. That's what I will say about YouTube. You guys are manageable. So there's not a lot of need for mods. You're so manageable. Thank you for being so manageable. Twitch chat is ridiculous. <laughs> Twitch chat needs help. We need, I need help. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are wacky. You're a wacky time. Sorry, Frisk. I know, I know. So I can say whatever I want on YouTube. That's not what I said. No, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Chat, unrelated. Does anyone have like rashes? No, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Got an armpit rash. <laughs> I think there's one developing. I don't like it. And it was sorry, too much information. <laughs> That's gross. I'm fortunate. Uh, and moving on. Listen, I just started talking and then I was I had to tell you what I was gonna say because then you guys are gonna be like, oh that's lame. She didn't finish the sentence. So see a doctor, you'll get answers. Nah, just wait. Everything's fine. <laughs> I do also keep having random chest pain, like really like a tightening in my chest that hurts just randomly, intermittently, like three times a day. But it's on the wrong side. My heart's here. So it's on the right side. So I feel like it's fine. Same, right? <laughs> oh my God, same. Guys, we need to exercise more <laughs> or something. Oh, that's actually normal. Really? Maybe someone's spiking you with estrogen. Mm, good point, Kronos. That's, that's normal. It goes away eventually. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, it's on the wrong side. It's on the wrong side, so it's fine. <laughs> I do exercise. Yeah, me too, actually. <laughs> but we need to do more or less. Maybe less. <laughs> Why me, God? Ricardo, hi, welcome. Ugh. Ricardo. Ricardo, please. Ricardo. You might not have the same complications. As in me and Jekyllis could be going through different things. Um, yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, when you have the same symptom and someone else says it's fine, then you can relax, do you know what I mean? Perry, visit a doctor, please. No, they're just gonna, inf they're just gonna tell me why capitalism is okay. Do you know what I mean? I'm joking, I'm joking. Do go to a doctor chat. Do, do, do these things. Do as I say, not as I do. Thank you so much. They're just gonna be like, oh, I, you should do this because I own you as doctors. <laughs> Sorry. I'm ju I don't actually mean this. I'm just lazy. <laughs> That's not how it works. That is 100% how it works. Please go to a doctor. Yeah, Perry has a master in psychology, but is not a licensed psychologist, and I'm not qualified to give anyone any advice ever. Oh my god, I did the same thing that our guy did. So we're talking about Six, for anyone who's just joining us. Six is a dude that got doused with estrogen by his uh, singer in the band because the singer was in love with his fiance and was trying to make him... Uh, twinkified so that uh, the singer had an edge up on him and was super manly compared to the estrogen boy um, so that she, the fiance would love him instead, which is a very weird thing to do. Definitely wouldn't work. Um, doesn't make any sense. He clearly doesn't know that femboys are in fashion. I say it time and time again and no one listens to me. If only he watched stream, you know? Femboys are in fashion. Have you seen Timothy Chalamet? Forced non-consenting twi twinkification is not going to make someone less attractive. Well, it will because now he's ill. It's a crime. He's sick now. But like, it's not, it's not the, it's not the style anymore. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Mountain, hi, welcome in. How are you doing? What's up? I feel like he would have had more of a chance asking her out directly. I mean, at least he would have been shot down, you know? And then he can move on. Although, as we're about to discuss what with what the other topics I prepared for the stream around the theme of obsession, you're so welcome. I'm so prepared. Um, as we've discussed, or we're gonna discuss, shooting someone down does not always mean they move on. Wow, I know it's not like we all knew that anyway. It's not like everyone has been telling us that forever. But you know, yeah, shooting someone down does not always mean that they move on. I have this urge to play John Hinckley music, but I, but I can't. I mean, I guess it's not DMCA. Should we just have John Hinckley in the background? No, he sings. It won't be good background stream music. Hinckley never moving on. Legit. Yeah, exactly. Too many obsessions. And that's, that's, that's what, that's what it is. I don't think this would have worked. Guys, on a scale of one to five, and I'm going to pull this. Hold on. Here, here we go. 
one to five, five best. How good was the plan to force, was the plan to poison a dude with est estrogen um, to force Twinkify him so that his fiance dates you, bracket, manly man, instead. How good of a plan was this? To one to five. Hold it. <laughs> How would you rate this? <laughs> Sorry, this doesn't work in YouTube chat, unfortunately. You guys, you know. But you know, I can, I can. The first person put a five in, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a five in because I get a vote. So you know, Swashed has been represented. Waffle guy, welcome, welcome. How good was this plan? Not amazing, we're saying. Not the best plan. 75% of us think that it was a terrible plan. 15% or 9% would give it a go themselves. If you say it's a five or a four, I take that to mean you will give it a go. <laughs> that's that's what that means. Uh, one due to ethics. Ethics. The bane of all good experiments. He could have died, so it definitely could have been out of the picture. Hey, that's a good point. Oh, God. Yeah, if it killed him, then fiance would have to grieve. And everyone loves a singer. <laughs> oh, that's really, that's really sad. Perry put in a five. No, I did that on behalf of Swash. Swash is the weirdo. Swash is the weirdo, not me. <laughs> if you get consent, it's a five out of five plan. Yeah, but then you're still manipulating them because you and your your heart don't think that dousing them with estrogen would make them more attractive. So you're still manipulating them, and it's still immoral. I think giving someone estrogen so that you can sleep with their fiance is always going to be an immoral plan. You can't really get away with that in Minecraft, in Minecraft. You can't really get away from that ever. Yeah, who would consent to that? Legit no one. Best place to pick up a girl is a funeral, according to studies. <laughs> can I ask which studies? Which studies where? <laughs> That's horrifying. Then there would be a weeping widow. <gasps> There'd be a Yorona. There would be a Yorona, and then it comes back to this sort of situation. Anyway. Yikes. <laughs> Thanks for the follow! De la muerte. Si. Hi, Sam Pokemon. Hi, Jim. Could have given him testosterone, and that would have shrunk the other guy's testicles. And maybe made him bald. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I got an Obsnesian. Nesnian. You have an Obsnesian, Slay? Tell me what's your Ob Obsnesian. Who are you Obsnesified with? <laughs> Who, who's your obnestinen? Would have been a better plan. They should have taken estrogen themselves and made them fall in love with them. Is that how that works? If you laced yourself and her with MDMA, but not the boyfriend, then they would feel like they have so much in common and everything's so soft and squishy, and then they would fall in love. Oh yeah, if he went bald from too much testosterone, he wouldn't be able to dye his hair anymore and then he wouldn't have matching hair with his fiance. And then they'd break up and he'd, she'd sleep with the singer. Obviously, that's where that goes, obviously. She wouldn't just, you know, still marry him because it's only hair or anything. That wouldn't be the case. I mean, I don't understand. I don't understand the mindset here. Oh my God, we're both so soft and squishy. Let's kiss. <laughs> yeah, right? That's my understanding of drugs. Don't do kids drugs. <laughs> he could draw the color with sharpies on his head. <laughs> he could. He could do that. Yeah, that would work, I think. That would work. Can you be obsessed with spiking protein powder with estrogen? So it's just like something you really want to do all the time. Yeah. You can be obsessed with anything. There was a woman who was obsessed with eating drywall, and I will keep coming back to that. Do you know what I've realized recently? Do you know what I'm worried about? Do you, do you know what I'm stressed about a little bit? I don't go outside 
which means I don't do things or talk to people apart from you. Hi. I don't do things or talk to people or have adventures or have experiences in general. Which means even though I'm hilarious and know so many things and I'm so creative and charismatic right now, I'm concerned that that will run out. And my references are starting to repeat. So what I'm saying is, better go outside soon. I'm due for an outside adventure. Hi, Bo. Welcome in. Stressed out about it a little bit. D does anyone relate to this? Are you guys worried that you're going to get really dull if you don't go outside? Are you worried about it now? Van life. See, van life would make you so interesting, but it also make you sad all the time because you're dirty. Not that people who are in van life are dirty, but if I did van life, I know I would be. You need to touch grass and yes all the time. You're always worried about that golden. Oh no. <laughs> Perry, my chat finds me hilarious, Cariol. Otherwise, why are you here? Of course you do. I'm objectively hilarious. Everyone finds me hilarious all the time. What kind of adventure would you like to do if you were to go out? Crime. No, I'm joking. <laughs> we don't contain crime. I think that would make you the most interesting though. What would make you interesting, chat? McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Hike in nature. Fuck off. Sorry, that was too heated. That just came out. You're right. That would be a nice thing to do. I just, <laughs> that was an instinct. <laughs> I'd like to climb a tree. That's fun. I want to roll down a hill, but I know it will damage my hips because I'm now old. What's your secret source to know everything about everything? Google. And whatever Lucy was on in the film, Lucy. Perry, I would do crime if I left my bed <laughs> left my bedroom car, y'all. <laughs> Going on an adventure to Popeyes. You know, I have some good stories about driving all the way to McDonald's. Well, I didn't drive because I can't drive. And I've made that a personality trait. Um, but yeah, my friend drove me to McDonald's one time and I got an apple pie. I just don't think going to McDonald's is ever like a good story. Not by itself. You know, things could happen at McDonald's. But I don't think by itself it's going to be a good one. Did it slap? Oh yeah, it was pretty good. Waffle. It, was pretty, it was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Perry, I could break because I'm old Cario. I like these. I feel very seen. Thank you for paying attention to me. Your life is exhilarating. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, you know. I'm really... The problem is I'm really happy. Not to flex or anything. <laughs> but I'm really happy with how things are going, which means I have no urge to go outside. I once watched a whole movie about going to White Castles. As in like castles that are white or is there a shop called White Castle? Did you go to a White Castle yourself? Things can happen at McDonald's. Apple, I swear to God, all of the fights that I've ever witnessed, all of the kids selling their drugs and getting into fights and like hitting other people, um, that happens at McDonald's or just outside McDonald's. In the area that I live in, there are police officers always outside McDonald's, always. They're always there and they're always talking to some boy on a bike every single time. And that boy is wearing a puffer jacket and also underneath the puffer jacket, a tracksuit that matches, which I like to call area that I live formal wear, which is, which is true. It's much funnier if I could say the area that it would flow better if I could, but I can't. So unfortunately you're getting the censored version of the joke. Isn't that what matters most though? If you're happy with the way things are right now and you take relatively good care of yourself, what more could you wish for? You're right, Dion, but contentment makes you boring. Wait, no, that's toxic teenager thoughts. <laughs> contentment makes you boring. Fight with your boyfriend, fight with him. <laughs> I've never thought that, but it is classic, classic teenager relationship vibes. Start arguments, throw things, throw things. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. This is my advice, exclamation mark asterisk. This is my advice to all of you who are in a relationship. If you cause arguments and fights for no reason, then they will stay with you because you're not boring. Throws emotions at spouse. <laughs> just every now and then, you know, just every now and then. Oh, sorry. It actually hit the door of the room that he's in. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. That was, I was meant to the general direction. I mean, it worked better for the joke because I did actually, did actually throw something at him. <laughs> Minus one boyfriend, is he okay? He might have had a panic attack. Are you alive? <laughs> he's good. He's fine. He's, he's okay. Revenge is coming.
Thanks for this piece of advice. You're so welcome. Has he ever appeared on stream? No. Suddenly the router somehow gets unplugged. <laughs> well, he would never do that to you. You know, you guys are innocent victims in this scenario. Exactly. So, you know, no one's going to do that. Perry, we do a bit of trolling, Kario. <laughs> Is he real? He just goes to a different school. He's real. I swear to God. Fun fact, the only time I was close to ending in the hospital was because some puffer jacket wearing twat outside of McDonald's threw a piece of fence at me. A piece a piece of fence while you're on duty see this is what i mean it's the mcdonald's it's the puffer jacket tracksuit wearing boys outside mcdonald's every single time a piece of fence he threw a piece of fence at you sorry for laughing <laughs> sorry for laughing that's not fun you were close to having to go to the hospital that's upsetting i'm sorry that happened to you <laughs> a fence <laughs> not a whole fence how are you gonna lift a whole fence guy how long was the fence? How are you going to pick up a whole fence? <laughs> Where did he get the piece of fence from? There was a boy who was inside of a wheelie bin. James, thank you for the seven months. I'm going to pull up a visual for you. Green wheelie bin. Thank you for voting in the poll. I appreciate that. We have decided that trying to poison a dude with estrogen to force to twinkify him so that his fiance dates you the manly man instead was a bad plan one out of five one out of five thank you for voting <laughs> i appreciate that thank you so much um but yes wheelie bin green wheelie bean as they're called sometimes they're these ones okay these tall boys you can fit a whole person inside of them they're that tall um and basically basically that's offensive throwing a whole fence at a police officer yeah true um but yeah so you can fit inside a wheelie bin they're, they're really big and you get it there was a boy who was in the wheelie bin with the lid closed it was empty presumably uh and as i walk past the wheelie bin he opens it sticks his head out and goes green like a wheelie bean <laughs> And I'm just like, okay. And he, he, he was expecting something from me. I'm not sure what it was. He was just like waiting. I think he wanted me to be like, ah, that's such a good joke or something. I don't, I don't know. I, he must have been on something, I think. He was in the wheelie bin, opened the lid, popped his head out and screamed, green as a wheelie bean. <laughs> and this was in the middle of the day. This was like 2 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> his friend was sat on the wall next to him so i don't know what the friend thought of this scenario but like <laughs> i don't i don't know what was going on there that's really it's really funny he did not throw any fence at me so it was a win <laughs> oh my god what a stinky place to hide that's true in cambridge there's a dude that sits in a bin and plays guitar Yeah, this guy. I've seen him. He moves sometimes. He's the bin dude. <laughs> I walked past him with my brother one time. Um... And he, this was just before I was about to start my music degree. Uh, and he looks at me and goes, that's your future. <laughs> Which is rude to the bin dude, because that's brilliant. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh dear, that's Cambridge. That's Cambridge. That's pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Such a magical place. It's, it's true. I once had someone jump out of a suitcase. Which, what was the situation? We have one of those at every corner. Bin buskers. Really? That's pretty rogue. I forgot to padlock it. So there was just a dude inside of your suitcase. Where were you? Was it like in your house? Did you bring a random dude home? Was he in the... In the plane? Is he dead now? What happened? So if you forget to padlock your suitcase, a random dude just calls inside. Who knew? Who knew? How big was your suitcase? How did you fit a grown man in your suitcase? I mean, I know you didn't fit a grown man in your suitcase. Did you fit a grown man in your suitcase? Wait! Slay! You said a man came out of your suitcase before you, because you forgot to padlock it. Did you put the man in the suitcase? 
This is why you can't make ominous, vague comments. You must give me. It was at the circus. Okay, I'm done with this now. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and drop this storyline. <laughs> I once almost put annoying ball, uh, an annoying boy in school in a big grey rubbish thing common in my country. As the other schoolboys, it was bigger than the schoolboy. Glad you didn't do that, because then you would have been a bully. Wait, just annoying? Were you a bully, Bo? <gasps> no. Terrible, terrible. Everyone bully Bo because Bo was a bully. Don't bully chat members. Thank you. We've reformed. Thank you so much. That's literally me. <laughs> I can't read while watching a stream because trying to focus on something else while the sound is going on in the background is physically exhausting. Do I have autism? I cannot diagnose you with anything because I'm not qualified to. Uh, if you are, con there's some good advice. I know I should have made a joke here probably, but here's some good advice. If you are concerned, that you are f and finding life a little bit harder and you're thinking maybe other people don't find life this hard, then go to a doctor and tell them about it. Even if you don't know what you diagnose you with, even if you're not diagnosable with anything, if life is hard for you for whatever reason, go tell somebody. Aww, chat. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you about a boy who was murdered. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I just wanted that juxtaposition. Nana, oh my God, thank you for the 10 pounds. Whoa, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was, that's so nice of you, 10 pounds. Shut the front door. That's lovely, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, don't know as well, that's all for me. Tee -hee. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. James, I'm here for Perry throwing things. <laughs> nice. That's heavy. Joel's in the chat for the tenor. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't want to go to a doctor. I prefer to trauma dump strangers online. That is pretty fun. That is pretty fun. Someone accused me of trauma dumping the other day. Um, but I, I, it's hard to tell sometimes the difference between trauma dumping and just making a joke. Because I find it really funny to shock humor people with my trauma. Right? I find that hilarious. So I'm just out here making jokes. And then someone was like, trauma dump much. Who was this? Oh my God, it was Yannick. It was Yannick at DreamHack, which is ironic for him. Put one in the chat if you know Yannick. He's pretty cool. Anyway, it was him. Maybe, I don't know. I had some wines, so it could have been literally anyone else. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure it was. But yeah, I made a joke. Okay, we were talking about something. I don't remember what. Again, the wines, but uh, we were talking about something and I, I, he, I don't know, said something. I really don't know. But then I was just like, ha, just like something. And I inputted my trauma. It's hazy, guys. It's really fuzzy. I put my trauma in there to shock him and joke him. And he was like, thank you for trauma dumping me, which is valid. It's valid. But at the same time, Yannick, no, that's not how it's pronounced, actually. I'm just a bad friend. <laughs> That's not how it's pronounced. No, but yeah, it's intriguing. <laughs> ask him, ask him. She likes them fuzzy drinks. Fuzzy drinks are fun. Yeah. Sometimes. Uh, be responsible. Safe and responsible. Thank you so much. I would say that depends on what you said. Trust me that I am right and dignified. <laughs> based on my interpretation of events that I can't remember or share with you because I don't remember them. I have an obsession with stalling. Oh yes, okay, so I've got one little thing for you that you might not care about. And then I've got like big shock, shocking cases of obsessions gone wrong. So, you know, stay tuned for that. But do you guys know about the Mariah Carey, before, before we get onto that, do you guys know about the Mariah Carey Eminem drama? It's actually amazing. I didn't know about this. It's actually wonderful. So Eminem, we go, don't know who Eminem is. Where have you been? Here's Eminem. Okay. Here, here he is, right? There he goes. Um, and he, he, obsession's gone wrong, not clickbait. <laughs> he um, claimed for like ever, forever, that Mariah Carey and him were dating for six months or had dated for six months in the past. And he's been saying this forever. I think he still maintains that they, they had dated for six months in the past. Now, Mariah Carey has said that this never happened. Never, ever, ever. Never, not true, not once. 
Uh, and he kept saying it, so she made this song, which is the most wonderful thing ever. And I was like, why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> and I'm going to skip because <laughs> he, she, in the music video, she puts Eminem, or like herself, dressed up as Eminem. <laughs> That's supposed to be Eminem. Mariah Carey as Eminem pretending to be a uh, uh, whatever they call the person who drives your car and parks it for you. I forgot what they're called because I'm not literally like rich. Um, so I, sorry, I don't know what the, that's called. <laughs> um, a valet, a chauffeur. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so that's kind of what happened. And she's just like, oh, why are you so obsessed with me? And then here's herself stalking Mariah Carey on the street. <laughs> idea i had no idea about this at all and this is not many people like eminem very openly they are really open about this aren't they they're really open about this that they don't like him <laughs> and so he he replied and wrote a song all of these songs i didn't know they were about people but he replied and wrote this song about her um, so do look at the lyrics. I'm gonna stop playing around 30 seconds because he starts swearing a bunch, but here it goes. You in the first place? It's cause you did not see me. Now I'm pissed off. Sit back, homie, relax. In fact, grab a six pack, kick back while I kick facts. Yeah, Dre, sick track. Perfect way to get back. Wanna hear something wick whack? I got the same exact tat that's on Nick's back. I'm obsessed now. Oh, geez, that's supposed to be me in the video with the goatee. Wow, Mariah didn't expect it to go balls out. Bitch, shut the fuck up before I put all them phone calls out. Um, yeah, so the next part is about how she was on his dick and like. We were definitely dating and you are denying it, blah, blah, blah. And basically goes about Mariah. And those like vocal sounds in the background. <laughs> That's Mariah Carey. He sampled Mariah Carey. <laughs> damn, damn. That's why he says Nick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just... Oh no. Two grown ass adults, by the way. Yeah, for real, for real. I had no idea. It's such a little kid behavior. I feel like this is so true of celebrities. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I think there's just so much public drama a lot of the time and any public drama comes across as you're a child. Except actually the band member poisoning him with estrogen. That public drama, no one, he, none of them came off as children. One of them came off bad, the poisoner. But the dude posting it didn't come off as a child. But I think the people arguing about nothing always is very immature because just chill out just chill out do you know what i mean just chill out he released voicemails from her didn't he did he what did the voicemail say in the song bammy hi welcome in it's this is so funny it's true mids hi welcome in i have a crippling obsession with fdvr what is fdvr fdvr full dive virtual reality oh no how much time do you spend in, v in vr vr is really really cool but people can... Well, it's very rare because the headset kind of hurts after a bit. And it's not like, it's not a pleasant experience necessarily, but people can like think that the VR life is better. Oh no, just the concept. Oh, okay. So you, you're just super into it. That's fun. That's nice. Yeah, I get super into stuff all the time. I was really into jam for a little bit. I never made my own jam. I feel like that would have been the next step, but it's my obsession with jam stopped before I got to, I'm going to make my own jam part, like Monica from Friends. Just obsessed with making jam. Anyway, I was super into jam. I was eating, eating like half a jar a day. <laughs> and I would go to the farmer's market, which is a while away, like a train journey away. I'd wake up early on a Saturday to go to the farmer's market to buy jam. <laughs> and I'd finish it within like a week. <laughs> so that, that got a raise because the only reason that obsession went away is because I got super obsessed with DDR. That's why I have a dance pad. I'm like, su I got super obsessed with DDR. Um, so it kind of took over. I didn't have time to eat jam because I was DDRing. <laughs> and then what replaced that? I mean, I still love it. But what replaced it obsession wise? Do I have any ongoing right now? Oh yeah, reading. I got super into reading. So I was at the library 
like twice a week swapping books out because I was reading that that fast. Then that got replaced, but I'm not sure what with. Oh my God, do I not have, do I not have an obsession right now? <gasps> That's so sad. That's so sad. I'm too busy. I think I'm too busy. I'm too busy. I work all the time. Cults, Perry, literally cults. I'm not obsessed with cults. I just know a lot about them. It's good content. It's good content. Is your obsession breakdancing? No, no, that would be weird. That, that would be weird. It sounds less like an obsession and more like enjoying hobbies. See, there is a fine line, isn't there? There's a fine line. I would say, I have lots of hobbies that I enjoy. Uh, the jam and the DDR was an obsession. It got out of hand. It's hyperfixation. The hyperfixation rotation. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Why, wait, why would breakdancing be weird? No, it wouldn't be weird to breakdance, okay? But considering that I only have carpet floors and I've tried it one time and I'm really bad at it and I've not given it a go since, it would be weird if I was obsessed with breakdancing. Me, myself, me. You're into deep, you don't think, you don't think it's an obsession. Perry hates people who are breakdance. I hate everyone that breakdances ever. That's not true. Do you, are you guys obsessed with anything? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. So yeah, that's the more I carry Eminem drama. And now I'm going to get into obsessions got wrong. Dot, dot, dot. Crime edition. Dot, dot, dot. Horror. Bish, bash, bosh. We're not, it's technically true crime because I'm going to be talking about stuff, but I, it's not, I'm not going to tell you any details. I'm not going to tell you any bad things that happened. Maybe like general vibes, but I'm not going into detail of anything bad. Okay. I'm not going to say the word that, muck duck means um and everything everything will be fine like technically i'm talking about a crime but it's not like true crime vibes because we don't do that anymore because it's sad so don't worry everyone will be safe everyone will be fine don't just settle in you're okay hi all oh, welcome in i have an addictive personality i do think that's true i think it's a miracle that i got uh, obsessed with school and learning <sighs> what a nerd i got obsessed with homework and studying and stuff instead of drugs I could have gone a very different way, I think. I got legit. <laughs> so, so that's good. That's nice. <laughs> oh, I have more addictions than obsessions. Energy drinks, for example. Oh yeah, but the thing is like, you get addicted to the feeling of that, don't you? Switch to something healthier than energy drinks. Like water drop, no, I'm joking. Switch to something healthier than energy drinks, I would say, because that's bad. It's bad for your skin, bro. It's bad for your skin. Um. But yeah, caffeine is a very common one. Caffeine is pretty good. I don't know if it's an obsession or just a passion since it's not maladaptive, but I do really love all things combat sports and martial arts. Have been since I was a kid. Interesting. Do you like MMA? MMA scares me. I don't love MMA. People judge people who do M MMA. Everyone's always scared. I have two friends who do it and everyone's always scared to tell people that they do MMA because everyone's just like, it's, it's the one that's like super violent. There are rules, but not many. And it's just people punching each other in the face. And it's like, <laughs> MMA is fun to do, but I don't like watching it. Maybe, maybe that's the difference, yeah. Maybe there is something, maybe it looks worse than it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't love it. It's too violent for me, but uh, I don't begrudge anyone who does. I do like MMA. In fact, I'm going to do a trial week at an MMA training center to get back into training. Let me know how it goes. I'd be so scared. Do you just get punched in the face? Is that... Why do you like that? <laughs> it's kind of homoerotic. Dude's grappling. No, for, no, but for real, it really is. It really is. Everything's always touching each other's bits, like constantly. You're touching each other's bits like 24 seven, you know. <laughs> Twinkify MMA, <laughs> start a petition. <laughs> we should pick a new obsession for chat. From this point on, you all are obsessed with, I was gonna say homoeroticism, but that's a different, that's a different thing. I'm obsessed with Bakugan. Marble spring loaded that pop on magnets. I literally spent all my paychecks on it for two months in a row. So long as you know what? So long as it makes you happy. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. There are healthy addictions, you know, hobbies, things that make you happy. Uh, exercise. So long as it's so long as it stays healthy. 
let's just all get into Beyblades. Oh, Beyblades was so fun. They were banned in my school because they were violent and like hurting people and everyone came out at the playtime with cuts on their hands, but it was worth it. It was so good. Maybe I do understand MMA then. The cuts on your hands from Beyblade were worth it. So maybe, you know, the fun of MMA is worth being punched in the face. Maybe I get it. Maybe I get it. It makes you really happy. See, that worries me. When anyone says, oh, I like being punched in the face, I always think, okay, what can I diagnose you with there? You know, what was your childhood like? How was your mother? <laughs> that's that's what I start thinking, you know? Abused foster home. Speaking of people in a foster home that now have weird hobbies. Let's talk about Rebecca Schaefer. Who hurt you? L legit, that's the first thing I think. Let's talk about Rebecca Schaefer. So, this is Rebecca Schaefer. She was a really, really famous, uh, really famous person in a teen show called My Sister Sam. She was later in something else, but I forgot what it was. Oh, um, um, oh, um, ah, something else I've forgotten. I've totally, it doesn't matter. The main thing she's known for is my sister, Sam. So she was really, really famous in that. Um, and she was really, really uh, a big kind of heartthrob for lots of boys and probably girls. Heartthrob for a, a bunch of different people. Now, she did get muck ducked, unfortunately, sadly. That's as bad as we're getting. That's as bad as we're getting about this. Because there was a dude, one dude in particular, who was obsessed with her. But let's go back to the beginning. Let's dial this back. This is John Bardo. We're going to talk about John more than we're going to talk about Rebecca. John Bardo. Here he is. He's a dude. Uh, he was super obsessed with Rebecca. Um, and interestingly enough, if we go back to the beginning of John, who was John? John was a boy who grew up in a time that was before this time, let's say the 60s uh, or the 50s. And John grew up in a time in a house with uh, a family at one point. He was in foster care a lot, the before times indeed. So he was passed around a little bit. He was in foster care. Uh, he had previously been arrested and as a child for domestic violence and disorderly conduct. So, you know, he had problems. He was diagnosed with bipolar uh, disorder. I was gonna say bipolar personality disorder, but that's not a thing. Bipolar disorder, which does not that does not make you violent. It can make you angry, but people have different symptoms of different things, and you can also have like stuff at the same time. You know, some schizophrenics go around beheading people. That doesn't mean that beheading people is a symptom of schizophrenia. Borderline is the same. It's not the same. The difference between uh, borderline personality disorder and bipolar disorder, there are two main differences, I would say, but there are a lot more. Like the symptoms do differ in different ways. Um, two main differences to remember. One is, or at least we know it's chemical. So you can take pills for bipolar disorder and the pills work. And that's like the main thing you do, you take meds. Um, but for borderline personality disorder, because it's personality, not as easy. Pills don't work necessarily, or not the, the same ones. Um, and the other difference is that bipolar disorder, and this is the biggest difference, bipolar disorder is cyclic. So you will be manic for this part, and then you will be depressed for this part. And there are loads of different variants, so not necessarily blah, 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 but whatever. So you will be manic for this many weeks at this time, and then you will drop and you will be depressed for this many weeks at this time. And depending on who you are, the times will differ, or you will be normal for this amount of time and then etc. Whereas borderline personality disorder, you're more reactive to stuff that's happening. So you kind of have a bunch of the symptoms all at once. And if something sad happens, then you'll go like that. And if something good happens, then you'll go like that. And it's not based on time. Bipolar just happens out of your control, take your meds. <laughs> Borderline personality is sort of still out of your control, but is reactive to stuff. Those are the main, main differences, but they are different and they do have other symptoms. But anyway, this dude is irrelevant. This dude was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, uh, later with schizophrenia. None of those things make you violent necessarily. Bipolar tends to be more genetically based. That's true. There's a bigger genetic component, component to bipolar disorder too. He has a super intense look in his eyes. Was he known to be volatile and go from zero to hundred in an instant? He seems that way from the photos. He does. Do you know what he's got? He's got raisin eyes. 
Do you remember Raisin Eyes? It's a concept in... What's that film called? Welcome Daddy. Daddy, welcome boy. The horror film. Da w welcome home, Daddy. Something, it's got Daddy in the name, but I can't... Does anyone remember what that name, the, the film was? No? Daddy's Home! That's what it's called. Horror film, Daddy's Home. It stars the dude who was in Lord of the Rings. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, the Shining. No. So he's got raisin eyes. That's a concept in that film. Raisin eyes. Basically, eyes look like raisins. They're really small. And that means that person's evil. Whereas she doesn't have raisin eyes. There it is. They're also, a, it's a media presentation of him. They're not going to post flattering pictures if that messes with the narrative. That's true. Although there are lots of pictures and none of them are flattering. Like literally none of them. Look at him go. Not a single one. Not a single picture. Raisin eyes. That's just a different dude. Anyway, raisin eyes. <laughs> But yeah, he was in foster care, passed around a lot, probably abused at some point. Uh, I read at some point, but I forgot specifically. Uh, he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, previous arrest for domestic violence and disorderly conduct. And funnily enough, I guess this is funny. I don't think this is funny. Anyway, his neighbors reported him a few times. And especially looking back, they, they talked a little bit about what he was like to live next to him. And they said that basically he was just really weird and he would do like strange and threatening things. So he would just sort of come out of his house and go, to his neighbors for no reason whatsoever. It's the same thing as that dude. So there was a dude, there was like a shooting. Um, doesn't really matter. But the neighbors of that guy, they reported him a little bit or not necessarily reported him a little bit, but they, they, they reported him after the crime, you know, when they interviewed them, whatever. And basically, apparently the dude was really, really strange. And um, again, devil eyes and would just randomly fire shotguns into trees in the middle of the night. So, you know, no one possibly knew. No one could have known. No one could have been aware of what might happen. But hey, here he goes. Um, anyway, this is John Bardo and his neighbor said that he was weird. So this is why I'm concerned about my neighbor. OK, listen, being weird, we're all a little bit weird doesn't mean you're gonna go and stalk celebrities, okay? Doesn't mean that. Doesn't mean you're gonna get obsessed and stalk celebrities, you know? But but it, it could, it could do. <laughs> so my neighbor, he keeps bringing the bins out. I told you about this. He keeps bringing the bins out, putting them on the side of the road and taking them in again, just over and over and over again. This is my current neighbor, actually. This is a different neighbor, but still. He just takes the bins out and then pulls the bins back in and then takes the bins out. But he'll do this like three, four times a day serial killer trust me i'm a psychologist exclamation mark asterisk absolute serial killer behavior surely surely isn't it a cliche that the neighbors always say it was a normal guy guess this guy was weird <laughs> yeah that's true although there is something to be said for i forgot what it's called there's a term for this where uh you think you knew it afterwards i knew it it's the i knew it phenomena you didn't know it you didn't know it. Looking back, you can think, oh, maybe it was this, maybe it was this, but you didn't know it at the time. You know, I always got a bad vibe from that guy. Did you? Did you? Post hoc. <laughs> Did you always get that, that bad vibe? BPD is more fun than bipolar. <laughs> I think BPD is spicier, potentially. Bipolar is too predictable, you know? It's like, oh, okay, I'm like this now. Or, oh, okay, I'm like this now. Whereas BPD, spicy. I never know what's happening. Ooh, you know, oh, sudden burst of anger. <laughs> you know what I mean? To be generalizing. <laughs> I dated two borderline personality disorder people. It's a nightmare roller coaster. Oh dear. Again, not always, not always, right? Don't discount anyone. Everyone's dealing with different things in different ways. There isn't a single one of you that isn't fucking insane. 100%, okay? You've all got your things. So, and everyone's different. Real. <laughs> but Kanye told me that being bipolar is awesome. Never go full Kanye. That's just what I got to say about that. It doesn't really seem like he's having an awesome time now, does it? Oh dear, oh dear. Way to flex having dated two people. Oh my God, Frisk, that's what it was. 
I dated two borderline personality disorder people. I knew it. I just don't trust myself. Are you sure that you knew it? Because that's such a thing. It has a name. That's such a thing. You know? Oh, there was horse meat in this chicken. Hashtag Tesco. Hashtag 2012. Don't remember. There was horse meat in this chicken. I knew it. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You did not. No, not, not, um, um, not, not doing that. No. <laughs> I just have boring vanilla depression. Depression is the least spicy mental health disorder. It's like the opposite. It's the absence of spice. So rip you plants. I mean, sorry for your struggles. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm normal. It's everyone else that's crazy. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. So, a totally regular guy like this, who was only kind of threatening and diagnosed with a bunch of stuff and, you know, had a terrible, awful childhood and was did really strange behavior things. A totally regular dude. He got really obsessed with Samantha Smith, who was a, a peace activist. And she was in Soviet Russia at the time. This is like 70s, I think. She was a, in Soviet Russia. And she came back from Soviet Russia and he traveled to maine to meet her and he wanted to stalk her like he planned that i'm gonna stalk Very samantha because i'm in love with samantha jared thanks for giving us up to margaretta i appreciate that love emma she's fantastic yeah she like really wanted to stalk samantha but he couldn't because uh she actually died in a plane crash which is so rogue so rogue to die in a plane crash very sad very sad for samantha um but she he was gonna stalk her and like had the plans to stalk her but yeah plane crash before he got a chance uh, very unlucky very unlucky very uh, upsetting hi steve welcome in what's your obsession jared thanks so much for gifting us up to lemon sad 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 indeed so then he moved on to tiffany also debbie Gil gibson at the same time tiffany and debbie gibson so, you know, you can love someone more than uh, more than one time. Although it's not love, it's obsession, but but still. So he moved on to Tiffany and Debbie. Um, but he was in New York City at the time and there was like no feasible way. He was like trying to figure out how I can stalk them, but there was like no feasible way. It just became too much admin and too much effort. So he dropped Tiffany and Debbie and then moved on to Rebecca Schaefer. Jerry, thanks for the subs to Stevie. So Rebecca Schaefer, as I said, was a famous heartthrob who was in the team, uh, the teen show My Sister Sam that was really, really popular. And so he moved on to her. So one time, one day, he broke in to a CBS set where she was filming and she got he got escorted out by the security. Then he hired a detective agency to find her home address. For some reason, they did that. If I'm a home detective agency, right? And some random dude with raisin eyes comes up and is like, I need this celebrity superstar's home address. Why would you give it to them? Why would you find it? But they did anyway. So he goes to her home. And at this point he gets really upset because there was a sex scene in My Sister Sam. Oh no, this was in Beverly Hills. She was also in Beverly Hills. Um, yeah, so there was a sex scene in Beverly Hills that she did. Um, and he was really upset about it because one, you're cheating on me. Thanks for the gifts up. You're cheating on me. Um, but also she'd lost her innocence, which was like the main thing that he liked about her. But she was obviously like, this is weird. So turned him away. Now, as you know, when someone gets turned away, especially if they're super obsessed with you, they take that as a really sensible... Tanya! Thank you for the raid! <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How is your stream? What's up? What were you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you don't know Tonya, Tonya is my manager and is amazing and really lovely and fantastic and an awesome streamer. So go and check out Tonya. <laughs> Would you guys listen to it? <laughs> I think I'll become a superstar. I can become. <laughs> I um, love this. What is this? This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. And from Tonya's chat, if you guys don't know me, my name is Perry or Perry Coriol. I'm a variety psychology streamer for whatever that means. And today we're talking about obsession. What are your obsessions? Who are you obsessed with? Uh, this is John Bardo and he stalked a few people. He tried to stalk a few people, but he's not a very good stalker. He's a bit unsuccessful. You know, the girl he stalked first time, Rogley, died in a plane crash. 
before he got a chance. So that's a shame. Uh, and then he tried to stalk these other people, Tiffany and Debbie Gibson, but there was no feasible way to do it in New York City. <laughs> it's too much admin, too much effort. So then he moved on to famous superstar Rebecca Schaefer. And now you're all caught up, all caught up. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Jared, thanks for giving us up to Tonya. I appreciate that. I played Frostpunk. Of course. Of course you played Frostpunk. How is it? I know you're obsessed with it. I know you're, you're in love with it. <laughs> we heard so much about you. That's not true. That's not true. Ocelot is obsessed with dinos and ocelots. Mostly combined. Hence your username, Ocelotosaurus Rex. Well, that's, that's lovely. That's wonderful. That's, that's that's brilliant. My guy reminds me of Jared Lee Lofner. Don't know who that is, but very happy for you. That's who is that? Jared Lee Lofner is a mass murderer. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. He's got the same eyes, man. Raisin eyes. That's what I'm saying. You know he's up to some stuff. That's what it is. Put a one in the chat if you have raisin eyes so we can put you on a list. He knows he's up to some stuff. Listen, people can't control what they look like, chat. But it's it's in the look. It's the I'm gonna stalk you look. Is is what that is. JMS, welcome in. How are you doing? It sounds kind of post hoc. No, it's just straight facts. Trust me, I'm a scientist. Exclamation mark. Asterisk. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So as i've said but we're going to catch up for those of you who are just joining us he goes to break into the cbs set where she's filming my sister sam denied by security he begins stalking her hires a detective agency to find her home address for some reason they did it immoral people anyway he goes to the home address at this point she has done a sex scene in beverly hills and he's really upset about that because one she cheated on him even though they've never met before. Uh, and also now she's lost her innocence, but she finds him really weird. So obviously turns him away. Now, as we know, and this is when you joined us, as we know, when you get turned away and you're obsessed with someone, you take that as a very healthy sign to leave them alone and you move on, you get a hobby and you go and live your life, right? George and Lacosta, thanks for the follows. You go and live your life. And name you can trust, thanks for the follow. That's, that's what it is. Hey, bye. Hi, welcome. That's what happens. How do people acquire their biases? Experiences. Also what you hear from the media and what you're told. And Amazon. <laughs> yeah, you can buy them for like a 12 pack for 12 pounds. It's really, it's really quite economically sound. That's that's what it is. Um, yes, yes, that that's how you do it. Now, obviously, yeah. So what happened then, chap? Very good for for him. Is he he moved on? He left her alone after that, and he moved on, and he got a job, and he got married, and you know now he's happy. <laughs> no, that's not true. He came out the next day, uh, had a copy of a Catcher in the Rye in his back pocket, which was quite fun. <laughs> he had the Catcher in the Rye in his back pocket. He's that sort of dude. Uh, and he also uh, was listening to the song Exit by U2, which is interesting. And unfortunately, he did a little bit of muck duck. So Rebecca, Rebecca, uh, this is as true crime as we're getting. This is all I'm going to say about it. She got murdered. Very sad, very sad, very weird. But at the same time, he got life in prison. So some justice there, which is nice. You know, it's worse when they get away with it, but he did not get away with it. He got life in prison. Uh, they tried to plead mentally unwell or whatever that's called. Mental, uh, what's, what's the phrase for pleading? Sick. Oh my God, what's the word I'm blanking? What's the... Unmentally sound. They pled insanity. Thank you. Yes, they tried to plead insanity, um, but it didn't work because they said the insanity was... Uh, schizophrenia, which he didn't have. And also, uh, they to, to prove insanity, it's actually really, really, really hard. You have to prove that you had no plan, prior plans to do it, that you were not in sound mind at any point of the planning stage or the, the doing it stage, and that you have to have some sort of medical background. So it's really hard to have those three things, especially to prove it. You have to prove that that's true beyond doubt. 
very, very, very hard to plead insanity. Uh, never really works at all. Never works, pretty much, unless it's legit. So a few people have pled insanity and, and succeeded. And even then, even then, you it's not like you plead insanity and then you're let go. You have to get treatment. And the treatment is always basically prison, right? Good prison. It will help you prison. Yay! But still prison. Um, which is which is pretty, pretty good. So that's what happened with him. <laughs> He's quite fun. Now, why was he listening to Exit? by you 2 What are the lyrics of Exit? I actually haven't heard this song before. I don't think so. This, he said this song inspired him to go after Rebecca. Well, does they have, do they have lyrics in the comments? They usually do. I can look up the lyrics. Pretty. See, it's a pretty song, but when you put it in the context of this dude who stalked a bunch of women because he was inspired by this song, it's less pretty. So the lyrics of this song are... Oh, he's this sort of guy. Oh no! His hand in his pocket, his finger on the steel, the pistol weighed heavy, his heart he could feel was beating, 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 beating. Oh my love, my love, my love, my love. There, so hands that build can also put, pull down even the hands of love. So even though I love her, and I've been stalking her, even though we've never really met, if she doesn't love me back, I'm gonna go insane. <laughs> that's that's what that is. He's a redditor before Reddit. <laughs> in uh, in the Netherlands, when you're deemed insane, you likely get put into a forced treatment facility until you're deemed safe for release. Same here. That can last indefinitely. So here, people try to avoid being deemed insane, since at least most conventional prison sentences are finite. That's true. That's true. But at the same time, if you go to prison, you don't get better again. So. Depends. Do you want to get better again? I guess you can get better again afterwards, but prison probably will make you worse. <laughs> Headed, hi, welcome. Not a good combination. No, not amazing. Not perfect. Very much stalker song, I think. Maybe the song was just a coincidence. He explicitly stated that it inspired him. So, not necessarily a coincidence. God damn it, it's all you two's fault. That's my, that's my uh, conclusion. It's you two's fault. Bono killed Rebecca Schaefer. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's what it is. The song is beautiful and the feelings a lot of us have during infatuation stages. And Catcher in the Rye is an innocent book. Don't blame UT or JD, U2 or JD Salinger. I'm blaming both of them. It's definitely both their fault. But I can kind of imagine someone who listens to songs like this and also has a copy of Catcher in the Rye that they put in their pocket at all times. At the very least, he's insufferable. I mean, yeah, he's a stalker. But also he's insufferable. <laughs> I had a friend, I use the word friend very loosely. There was a person that I knew of. Um, but he basically knew the Raven off by heart and would frequently just say it. Now, The Raven is a very, 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 very long poem. And he would just recite The Raven all the time. And I feel like that's the same sort of person. Now, I'm not saying that this person I know is a stalker and or murderer. He's not. He's fine. But he was insufferable. <laughs> insufferable! <laughs> Stalking, just passionate. Just passion. That's what it is. Have you not heard the song Animals by Maroon 5? Yeah, considering that the leader of Maroon 5 turned out to be a very weird dude in terms of his dating habits, he frequently goes after models that have just turned 18 and are new to the industry to manip- well, to arguably manipulate them and cheat on his wife with them. And he's frequently done this a lot, even though he's a 50-something-year-old man. The fact that he wrote Animals 
which is about stalking someone and having sex with them and the 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 video is him in an alleyway outside her window and then him in a butcher shop with like carcasses hung up next to his face a little weird <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say is a little bit weird little strange um excuse me miss he's 44 okay you're right that doesn't really change anything <laughs> crikey indeed indeed take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form from off my door quoth the raven nevermore <laughs> stop it will stop it i'm getting ptsd people can have hobbies but don't recite them no one asked him to recite them and he would look you in the eye as he was reciting the raven do you know how long the raven is do you know how long the raven is do you know how long the raven is all of it all of it and he wouldn't stop until he got through it all all of it and i'm scrolling quickly <laughs> insufferable people who have the a copy of the book the catcher in the rye in your back pocket at all times insufferable i've read the catcher in the rye i like the catcher in the rye would i keep it with me no <laughs> I struggle to think of a situation where reciting the raven is even possible. I mean, maybe that's why he kept doing it, because he was very proud that he knew it off by heart, because that is an achievement, to be fair. But legit, no one asked, and he would look into your eyes. He's the sort of person that would whip out a guitar and play Wonderwall at a party. I'm not joking. He did that twice at two different parties. I'm not joking. Again, unasked. Sometimes people play guitars at parties, and it's really fun and cool, because people would ask them to do that, or people would like play together, and it's like a fun and cool thing to do. He would not he would turn off the orcs he would turn off the speaker get out his guitar and play wonderwall without anyone asking him and then recite the raven in your face insufferable anyway so that's that's the same vibe i would i would say <laughs> that's the <laughs> not that he's a that he's a murderer but same vibe <laughs> what a champ my kind of guy <laughs> Thank you for venting. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, there was another woman. This is Selena. Okay. Selena. Not Gomez. Selena Quintanilla Perez, which is a fantastic name. Okay. And she... Uh, actually, instead of... There's Selena. And uh, now I'm going to show you Yolanda... Sal Devar. So this is Yolanda and this is Selena. Okay. Yolanda was the leader of Selena's fan club. So Selena was an actress or a singer or someone. Yeah, she was a musician, a really, really famous musician. I don't know as much about this one as I did the previous one. Um, but yeah, she was a famous singer really cool and yolanda was the leader of her fan club they had a close personal friendship and relationship as well but in 1995 yolanda decided that because selena wasn't paying her that much attention uh and she feared abandonment she feared loss uh she didn't want selena to leave her she decided uh, that if she couldn't have her, no one could. Obsession. Obsession. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Oh no. But don't worry. She was, again, she got life in prison as well. So, worrying. Very worrying. Didn't Yolanda steal a bunch of money first? I think she did she retrieved financial records i don't know oh she was embezzling money so she was embezzling money from the fan club and they confronted her about it but that wasn't actually the oh they didn't say that was the motive for the murder the motive for the murder was she feared about him and didn't want selena to leave her according to what i've got here but but there it was obsession by calvin klein that, that sounds like the sort of the sort of uh, perfume commercial that would have a sexy boy come out of a swimming pool in nothing but a white t-shirt. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. If you want to know more about obsession and 
stuff. I have a video on it. It's called You Can Fix It! Exclamation mark YT. Enjoy. <laughs> Hi, Peck. Can I request The Bells by Edgar? You could probably... Uh, listen, I'll put you in touch with the, the guy who <laughs> the, remembered all of the Raven. I'll put you in touch. And maybe he knows The Bells by now, too. It's been a while. Who swims in t-shirts? Sexy perfume boys swim in t-shirts. One time. <laughs> I was, thanks for the follow. Uh, one time. Um, can I tell you the story? No, I can't tell you the story. Damn it! Fine, fine. I'm not allowed to tell you the story. Nana, welcome into the YouTube chat. You can't leave us hanging. Ah, I'm going to. It's my stream. Fuck you. I do. I do. I want. <laughs> Thank you. Can't not say it now. I must. I've just. I've been told I'm not allowed to. Anyway. Anyway. So, why do people do this? Why do people get super obsessed with certain people to the point that they would resort to violence? Why would the leader of her fan club be so afraid of losing her? Be so afraid of losing her that she wanted to or did did a muck duck did the clown demon in your corner tell you not to yeah there's a demon right over there and he controls my every movement he's got strings that control all of my limbs do you guys not have your clown de demons in the corner who tells you what to do who tells you what to do if not your clown demon hi pure welcome in how are you doing <laughs> no do I have obsessive fans? There was one dude that comes to mind for my obsessive fans. I've already like told you about him. I think I actually went through the DMs with you on stream, which is not something I'd usually do. I blocked out his name, but still, still. Um, yeah, there was one dude that messaged me every day for like a year, a year and a bit. Uh, and it started out as, you're, you're nice. Um, I like you. You're cool. Nice stream. And then it went to... I love you. I want to suck your thumbs and stuff like that. And then uh, I didn't reply for like six months because I didn't see it. <laughs> it went into message requests and I don't, I didn't, I didn't see it. Um, and so I didn't reply, obviously. And then the messages went to, I hate you. You suck anyway, <laughs> you know? Because yeah, they're ignoring someone is rejecting them, right? So so he was like upset and he was like, I hate you. You suck. No one's going to ever love you. And then the next day he would be like, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. I love you, Barry. And then, you know, it, that went on for like another six months. And he got a, more and more like expressive and colorful with his language. <laughs> uh, violent, one might say. And then he sent me a picture of a dead bird. So, took a turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was weird. Um, and then he sent me some more messages after that. Like he kept going. Did he kill the bird? I think it was from eBay. Like he was telling me you could buy dead birds from eBay and he was going to send me one. There was not a lot of context to be fair. It was just dead bird. And then I'm going to send this to you. Did I report that? Yes. <laughs> But I didn't see any of this. I didn't see any of this. And then another two months went and he was still sending me messages. And then I saw it. And then I was like scrolling through it. And I was like, oh my God, I had no idea. Someone was basically harassing me and stalking me and sending me pictures of dead birds for a year and a bit. And I had no idea. <laughs> oh, weird. That guy has a mental disorder for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Did I buy a dead bird on his recommendation? Well, it would be rude not to, no? <laughs> he went to all that trouble of finding it. So, bro, why did you leak our DMs? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. So weird. So strange. But that's, that's my worst experience, I feel. Someone called me a bunch. I didn't know you could call people on Instagram. Apparently you can. Uh, and then he, he stream sniped. So I was playing Halo with friends on stream. This was a while ago. And, uh... He stream sniped into our game and got on voice chat, which I didn't know you could do because it was a private Xbox party. So I had no idea how he got on there, but he stream sniped that and then uh, was in voice chat on stream and was like, it was really weird. Harry.
And he kept calling me and he kept talking about our relationship on Instagram. I didn't know you could call people on Instagram. He kept talking about our relationship and how he's sorry he can't see me more. That was weird. I told my mum about us kind of vibe. Yes, that's exactly what it was. I told my mum about us kind of vibe. You know, flattered, I guess. <laughs> I mean, listen, it's nothing really to do with me, you know? It's actually genuinely nothing to do with me. If it wasn't me, it would be someone else, you know? It's just, he's picked rand almost semi-randomly. He's picked a random person to put his kind of symbol of what he wants for himself on. That's what it is. So I am nothing but an icon, basically. I'm an icon. No, that's not what I mean. I'm like a symbol for what, for this particular person or the people that get people get obsessed with, they are symbols for what they want from life. So most of the motives, uh, they come from things like, or most of the reason they get obsessed with someone, it comes from fear of losing people, fear of people leaving. And semi-randomly, they pick a person to put everything on. So if they loved me, everything would be okay. If that person, randomly, if that celebrity, if that actress from this TV show loved me, everything would be fine all of my problems would go away all of the the awful traumatic stuff that happened to me in my past would would not affect me anymore and i would be validated and proven to be a good person and a good individual um which means that if they don't love you and if they don't return it and if they don't if they leave you then the opposite is true everything does affect you everything is terrible and you're not validated and you're a terrible person so people get like really clingy and it's about control and it's about fear and it's about anxiety and distress and delusion as well. If you think that you're actually dating someone who has never paid you any attention beyond friendly or nothing, that is Delulu. That's Delulu. <laughs> you know, if you're dating someone you know, you know, you would go on a date and you would be like, I'm dating you. And they'd be like, I'm dating you too. GG, fist bump. That's what happens, you know? People people like specifically have a are we boyfriend girlfriend now conversation. Are we exclusive now conversation. So, you're not going to think you're dating someone. You you'll know <laughs> and they will say so. So if they've never said so, Delulu. <laughs> GG fist bump. <laughs> if you leave me now, you take away the biggest part of me. Ooh, girl, baby, please don't go. <laughs> exactly, exactly. The Lulu is the Salulu. Wheats, no. <laughs> Wheats, yield. <laughs> yield. Psh, psh, ah. <laughs> the Lulu is the Salulu. Uh, Does it count if it's on Fortnite? Getting obsessed with someone and thinking you're dating them even though they never paid you any attention. No, that's fine if it's on Fortnite. Carry on. <laughs> Although, do you remember that uh, sister? <gasps> A sister stabby wabbied another sister because she was flirting with her boyfriend on Valorant. Like over Valorant. And it wasn't even flirty really. I don't remember actually, maybe it was. So she stabby wabbied her sister and they shared a bunk bed. So, you know, be careful on Fortnite. No one knows what's going on. Game gaming is real life chat. Gaming is real life still. Oh God, Valorant players, classic Valorant player. That's what they're like. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Turbulent! <laughs> nice. I technically met my ex on Fortnite. Technically. Technically? Like you met them again somewhere else? It's the Jurassic Park theme. That's where it's from. How did you technically meet someone on Fortnite? Valorant play is not beating the e-dating allegations. <laughs> they keep pairing up. They keep, it's really weird. Have you seen the Valorant pairs? Like it's people who barely know each other and they're just like, Jeffrey's bitch, Selena's Jeffrey. It's like really strange. A mutual friend invited us both to a party and we met later. That's fun. That's cool. Valorant girlfriend. I mean, Fortnite girlfriend. Yay. Sounds like some drama I'd be involved with somehow. What, stabbing your sister because they flirted with your boyfriend? You'd be involved in that drama. <laughs> Luca, hi! I was 19 and met up with my 14-year-old duo on Fortnite. Huh?
Maybe keep that to yourself. <laughs> or just don't. Just don't do that. Why would you meet up with a 14 year old? He was in the same resort. It wasn't planned. Oh, okay. Okay, so you didn't like message him and be like, you want to meet? I have candy. You were just kind of there. And so you met a child because it was a child. It doesn't mean, listen, it doesn't mean you can never speak to children. And just speaking to a child doesn't mean that you're a not. Okay? I know that's where we all went. But it could be just a sweet thing. Like a brotherly thing. Right? Was it a brotherly thing or a sisterly thing? You meant level 14, right? 14 years playing Minecraft. <laughs> that's what, that's what that means. Right. He posted it to his story and I responded. He's a semi-pro hockey player and we bonded over hockey. He's 14. How is he semi-pro? Semi-pro in what? Semi-pro in like... There's a joke here. Damn it. Oh, there's a joke here. Why am I... Ah! Oh! Semi-pro in sticking the hockey sticks up his nose. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> It was he semi-pro and semi-pro and coloring books. No, but it's hockey though, Cleveland. They already said hockey. It has to be hockey related. Semi-pro and licking the ice. <laughs> See, I'm getting there. I just slower. <laughs> you got to step up your comedy game. Honestly, guys, I know you weren't there. Emma, thanks for the follow. I know you weren't there, but la yes, last night I was watching Supernatural. Okay. And there's bits, right, of Supernatural where they put all the really bad actors together in one scene and it's fucking hilarious. And I was really funny. I was on fire. Okay. I know you weren't there, but I was hilarious. Yes, I was talking over Supernatural. I was so funny. Clean them confirmed that I was hilarious. I was hilarious. And you missed it. So that's 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 where that's where it is that's where it goes but that's why people get obsessed with people because they they put their hopes and dreams and wishes and the solution of all their problems onto one person semi-randomly they mix it in with a little bit of delulu and then they get really afraid of losing them because this is my girlfriend how could you do a sex scene in a show that's totally real <gasps> i have a scene for you and cheat on me Do you remember this? I know about you two. I saw you today kissing in the doctor's lounge. <laughs> That's not what you think that was. You told me I was the only one. <laughs> Context. He's an actor in Days of Our Lives and she thinks Days of Our Lives is real and she thinks she's dating him. <laughs> all right, look, that's it. I don't think we should see each other anymore, all right? Look, I know I should have told you this a long time ago, but I am not Drake Remore, okay? I'm not even a doctor. I'm an actor. I just pretend to be a doctor. Oh, my God. Do the people at the hospital know about this? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody want to help me out here? I know, I know. Where am I? You get it, you get it, friends. It's a good one. <laughs> Anywho, it's time to turn it around. It's time to... How is his face dry after that? Just really good makeup. Just amazing powder. Instantly absorbent. Uh, anyway, uh, time to turn it around now, chat. Sir Kazebo, thanks for the follow. This is Lulu, where can I buy some of it? It really does help sometimes being super Lulu. It makes, you, it makes life a little bit more sparkly. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, time to turn it around. Okay, it's your turn. I am going to set up an anonymous Google form that anyone, even YouTube chat, even the disgusting, hideous YouTube chat, I'm joking. Even YouTube chat can partake in. Yay. So this, I typed in Google Sheets. That's all right. Google Forms. You can take part in this and we are going to do anonymous obsessions. So I want you to tell me things that you're obsessed with that are a little bit weird. Keep it drama. Keep it drama. Things that you're obsessed with that are a little bit weird or things that you've done out of being obsessed. You know, just stuff. Just just stuff. And if you can't think of anything, just hit me with drama. You know, you love it. You love it. Make a copy. Copy, copy, copy. I will type in what's your obsession? And the subtitle is weird drama obsessions 
slash stuff you've done because you're obsessed. And there's a space between every single letter of obsessed to make it more obsessed. Tell me your shame. Amazing. And I'm going to, it's totally anonymous. I'm going to send it. I'm going to link it. I'm going to shorten the link. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to post the link and I'm going to pin the link in both chats. So, you know, here's YouTube. Sorry that I did, did, did Twitch first. That's upsetting, isn't it? I'm going to spam in YouTube a little bit because I can't click. I can't, I can't click on anything because there's a fucking heart there. So I can't click on the bit that says pinned message because there's a heart over the top. So I keep liking my stream. Anyway, there we go. It's pinned. Enjoy, get in there, amazing. I'm obsessed with gaps between all of the letters with exploring abandoned buildings. <laughs> oh, that's cool, that's cool. Put it in the form. Tell me, tell me the weirdest thing you've done. Zillian, thank you for the 11 months. 11 months is not an obsession. I'm safe. 12 months is where it gets you know, a little bit weird. You're still here. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You can't be obsessed with my stream. It's just good taste. It might get lost with all the chatting here. That's why it's pinned. So it should always be at the top of the chat. I know. Giga brain. Totally anom 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 nurse, but it is Google. Yes. Who owns Google? I'm thinking Jeffrey Bezos, but that's Amazon. Mark Zuckerberg, but that's Facebook. It's like Meta, sorry. Who's Google? Totally forgotten. Gilligaloo, Alphabet. That's not a person. <laughs> Who owns Alphabet? Or is that a person? He changed his name to Alphabet because he's really good at countdown. Is that what happened? <laughs> like genuinely? Still Larry Page. Okay, I've never heard of this person. Carry on, they can, cra they can crack on then. Larry? Larry? Alex is appalled that it's Larry Page. I feel like I'm not really, not really part of this, you know? I'm not, not really part of this, uh, this conversation. I'm just gonna go ahead and dick out, dick out, duck out. <laughs> Getting your dick out would be TOS. Trust me, I've tried. I'm joking. I'm, I'm not joking. I am joking. I mean, well, thank you for the 17 months. Not obsessed at all. It's just good taste, man. It's just good taste. It's a good time. It's a good way to spend your time. This is the best stream. I'm the bad boy of Twitch. So there, there it is. Dicks out for Harambe. Stop it, Nelson. Stop it. S stop it. Harry didn't get the Impractical Jokers reference. I did not. I have not seen that show. So that would make sense. I will keep the same background as last time. I am setting up the other scene, so we're all ready to go. Fun. I'm very excited for this one. Because usually confessions are really, 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 really strange. And I'm also gonna go ahead and change the title. Usually confessions are really, really, really strange. Obsession edition. I spelled edition wrong. Edition. But this time they're gonna be actually unbelievably weird. So enjoy, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Unfollows. I'm just gonna dick out, says Perry. 10th of March 2024, just chatting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate that. That's that's really, really nice of you. <laughs> I love it when people quote me out of context. Although that was very much in context, to be fair. Is it pinned on Twitch? Chat, is it pinned on Twitch? Someone confirm for me if if the Google form is pinned. Thank you. Steve knows, thanks for the follow, I appreciate that. Cousin counter, it is amazing. Thank you so much. I predict a creepy, creepiness ratio of about 40 out of 60 for this one. So 40% of them are creepy. That's pretty low comparatively to what we usually get. Although to be fair, the creepiest ones uh i don't show you so you're welcome i save you guys a little bit the stuff i see is absolutely fucking horrific <laughs> where is where is where is the thing where is oh it's on confessions there she is okay cool that makes sense copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of unpopular opinions is what my form is called just so you know that's what we're working with that's what we're dealing with <laughs> 
just setting that up for you. Get your things in, get your confession forms in. Oh my God, we've got so many responses already. I had no idea actually. That was, <laughs> that was sudden. <laughs> okay, I think that's pretty good. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, where can I scroll to? Uh, don't love that. I'm getting the, I'm getting it right for you guys. I want the bottom to be the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and uncrop that a little bit. And crop that down. Amazing. Okay, I think we're ready, chat. I think we are ready. Let's do it. Capri, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate that. And here we go. Woo. Welcome into my confession booth. I will look at the first, first obsession. <laughs> okay this is someone's obsession we can't judge except that's what we do here <laughs> fun street waffles enough said they're really good oh my god i used to eat street waffles out of the bag Liter literally out of the bag if you guys don't know what street waffles are street waffles oh Oh, literally, literally out of the bag. Uh, what should the poll be, chat? Because we usually poll something. The poll should be... I guess Dewey forgive you. Whoa, Cadbury! Thank you for the thousand bits! That's so nice of you. Thank you. Aww, that's amazing. That's so many bits. Is that a British food? Dutch, I think. I think Dutch. Valid obsession on an in or invalid obsession. Oh, valid or valid. Valid or invalid. That's not so catchy, I don't think. Is this okay? Not okay. Get help. Yes or no. Oh, I like that. Get help. Yes. No. Pull it. <laughs> We're such dicks. Have you realized this? <laughs> What's shameful about street waffles? Yeah, they're fucking delicious. I used to eat them by the bag. It was amazing. It was amazing. My mom kept buying them. So. I think she's the reason for my jam addiction. Learned behaviors. <laughs> Stroop waffles by the bag. St it's pronounced stroop waffles. I feel like you're messing with me. It's it's healthy unless you have severe diabetes. I mean, yeah, I feel like stay safe. Stay safe is always the correct thing to do, <laughs> for sure. Also, by the way, in case you haven't noticed, I shine this glow on me so that I can feel superior. It's my high horse glow. I'm a saint. Justin, thank you for the four gifted subs and so many. Thank you so much. Parents have a lot to answer for. It's true. For everything. You can blame your parents for anything if you want to do. It's a long O sound, not a U. Stroop. Stroop. That's what I would say too, but I'm not Dutch. No. Get help. No, you're all good. Carry on. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh my God, we have so many. I didn't realize that you guys would be so into this. I'm happy that you are. Your obsession is pirating movies and books. But you wouldn't steal a, a train. You wouldn't kill a dog and then feed the dog to another dog. Disgusting behavior. Disgusting. I would never do anything like this. This is horrifying. This is awful. This is the worst thing I've ever heard ever. Who wouldn't steal a train? That would be so cool. I remember that scene from Breaking Bad where they steal all the train fuel. Or was it? It was probably meth, right? Something to do with meth, but I forgot what. It's not stealing. No one loses anything. Piracy is a crime. Being a pirate, only cool if you have an eye patch. I'm also joking. 
no, you're good. You don't need any help. You're fine. You're perfect. Perfect. Carry on, darling. We support piracy. I'm joking. We don't support crime. Thank you so much. Next. Tis a pirate's life for me. Falafel. <laughs> Get help, yes. <laughs> Data hoarding is a valid hobby. You carry on, Swash. You carry on. <laughs> nom nom nom. These are too hinged. Oh, we're 50 50 <laughs> for the jokes. For the jokes. Carry on. Falafel's fine. Did I not say drama? I, I don't know what drama starts with falafel. Here we go. I used to want my female dom to make me do stuff to her in public while she has me collared and on a leash, lol. Note, this was long ago. This is long ago, okay? Jeez. This is what I was talking about. Yeah, this is good shit. <laughs> Get help. How <laughs> is this valid? <laughs> One, but we don't kink shame. The public never consented. Yeah, the public never consented. That's true. That's what you... Listen, if they're two adults, you can do whatever they want. That's the beauty of not kink shaming. But at the same time, the public didn't consent to this. So therefore, it's basically grape. So therefore... Get help, bro. Get help. Is my little buzzer sound. It's very confusing because yes is usually the ding because, you know, but there it is. Okay, let's keep going. So, guys, who do you think it is? Who do you think said that? <laughs> I'm obsessed about being shrunk to pet size and live like a cat but human. There is a Love Don't Judge TLC episode about this. I might do a stream on it, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my stream ideas. Lives as a cat. Love. Don't judge. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Save to topic ideas. <laughs> uh, maybe we do a stream on that. That's, it's, it's true. Get help? Yes. Please. Yeah, the show is called Love Don't Judge, but whenever I play Love Don't Judge on the stream, we do judge. But, you know, we shouldn't judge. We should be loving. But at the same time, it's funny. And therefore, it's fine. But <laughs> Potentially. Potentially? I don't think... My top isn't staying... It's not staying on... It's not staying top. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, we have so many responses. I didn't realize. This is, this is the quickest we've ever got them in, I think. I'm obsessed with drinking urine. I drink about 80 ounces of my own urine daily. I also brush with it and even bathe with it. What the fuck? My top isn't topping, indeed. What? What? What what do you mean? What do you what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you What please God one? Does it taste good is my question. Jesus, stop it. What? What? I hate this stream and its audience. <laughs> what is 80 ounces? A lot. That's a lot. But real talk, I have no idea. <laughs> Extreme heat, welcome, welcome. I don't believe it. I am choosing to believe it because that's more fun. No, get help. Shame. Shame indeed. What? <sighs> Thank you for your drama. <laughs> Based. I'm obsessed with clearing notifications. Sometimes when an app bugs out and the red dot slash bell icon won't go away, it makes me really frustrated. For sure, based. I do this all the time. Do you know X's uh, X's app has a little red dot on it? X's logo. I can show you. I'll show you. 
because oh my god there oh you can't see it hold on hold on hold 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 hold, hold. x's logo there has a little red dot a little red dot in the corner and that's just the logo it makes you think you have a notification so you click on it bastards absolute bastards that's what i have to say about that bastards <laughs> reason 537 not to use twitter indeed <laughs> indeed we refuse to call it x so do i did i just call it x i guess because the logo's x so i'm saying there's a there's a dot on the x but no you're fine you're fine this is valid and twitter should die because of this i'm joking but no for real awful you're obsessed with hentai call it <laughs> obsessed with like, you can enjoy it, but obsessed with... How much hentai do you watch? That's too much. Don't you have, like, things to do? You know? Do you not have, like, hobbies and places to be? Where is your brain? In indeed. Nicola, hi. <laughs> Depending on the level of obsession. Too too much. Too, too much porn does not make the world go round. Now, you know what you should be eating. Corn. It's nutritious. It's delicious. You can grow it. If you are American, there's loads of corn going around. You guys are all about your corn. You know? Thank you, Will Dreams. <laughs> uh, yes, please get help. Please, please, please do. Please. Right, let's... <laughs> oh, no. Artists are the god of anatomy. They could be an artist, that's true, but hentai. I love corn syrup. That's that's weird. It I thought corn syrup was really bad in in some way, but I forgot. <laughs> I genuinely got addicted. I genuinely got addicted with Cyberpunk 2077 at a point. I got 14 hours in a day. It got so bad at a point I had to uninstall it, yet I still have an obsession and a slight addiction today. That's just a that's just a sign of a good game, I think. I didn't play it enough to get obsessed with it. I think I would have, though. I didn't play it enough in the end. I got obsessed with Stardew Valley. Like, I was, uh, I, I had, like, an Excel spreadsheet of all of the things in Stardew Valley, and I knew where every single character would be at every single moment and every single day. And that varies a lot depending on the day of the week and if it's raining and stuff like that. I knew where to find every single fish, and I would, I would absolutely maximize my day. And I get really stressed about it. If anyone bothered me while I was playing uh, Stardew Valley, it was like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do to me? Okay. <laughs> Just play Stardew Valley again. That would be good. That was fun. It was fun. 14 hours a day. Again, once more. Were you not sleeping? Do you not have places to be, people to see, things to do? N no? But at the, at the same time, good game. Enjoy. GG in the literal sense. Mind control Stardew when? How would you even? How would you even do that? I 100%ed Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Sekiro, Bloodborne, and Elden Ring, and I'm about to 100% Dark Souls 3. I might need professional help. I was at one point in time uh, like in the Dark Souls speed running and challenge running community. Bragging <laughs> for them, yeah. Um, so I do know a few people for which this is probably true for them. But a lot of them, the professional Dark Souls speed runners, this is not true for them, and it's their job. It's what they do to make money, and they haven't even done this. 100%. Then probably not as hard to 100% as some other things. I mean, RPGs are probably the hardest, but Elden Ring, to 100% Elden Ring, that takes a while. That takes a lot of time. I kind of want to do it though. Do you know what? I think I'm just jealous. I genuinely think I'm just jealous. It's called masochism. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Carry on. Let me know when you do 100% Dark Souls 3. Because that's, that's cool. 
I 100% completed God of War. That's fun. Have I 100%ed anything? I don't think so. Please. Gaming again, FIFA. Fair dues. Here we go. Once, years ago, I was obsessed with a girl I slept with a couple of times. To ensure I got to meet her more, I went through a lot of shady contacts to get a big supply of amphetamine and coke, which there was a drought of at the time. <laughs> Since I lived in a remote small town and the dealers had just got caught, which meant she had to come to me to fuel her addictions. That is evil. That is evil. Oh my God, you forced her to hang out with you because you had the drugs she was addicted to. That is a crime. No, 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 Semf. The problem isn't don't sleep with your clients. The problem is don't facilitate a drug addiction. No, clean him. Or is it genius? Clean him, no, clean him, no. Stop it. Jesus indeed. Jesus can't help us at this point. Get help. Oh no, that was the wrong sound. <laughs> there we go. Someone bonk clean him. Oh, that's too much, too much. My st my Steam stream deck absolutely freaked out at that one. It's pretty damn bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm obsessed with my pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! <laughs> I like the didn't for help. Okay, it's easier for me too. Leave your pee-pee alone. <laughs> me too, buddy. <laughs> What is a pee-pee? It's a penis. Is it homoerotic to be obsessed with your own member? Maybe. Is that a problem? <laughs> Aren't we all? Do you guys windmill? I would windmill all the time. The only windmill I'm allowed to do is break dancing. I can give it a go, but it doesn't really work. Nothing really moves. Partner Plus can be good for streamers. That's, I'm sure that's what he meant from by that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Occasionally, but that is private. I'm so sorry. Too too personal. I'm Dutch, so I love windmilling. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. I don't have long enough hair to windmill. Is it called a helicopter? It's not called a windmill. It's called both. You can, you can do both. You can do both. Listen, it, it's, it's something going around. It's fine. Guillaume, hi. No, you're fine. You do not need to get help. You're good. Carry on. Carry on. The Lord of the Light forgives you. But the light, night is dark and full of terrors. I'm not going to validate this one. Down in pints with the lads. This is a flex. Look at all your friends. Who are the, who are the lads? Who are the lads? Cap on the lads. Oh, look at me. I have friends. I go outside. I do fun things. I'm a social per person who does fun things. I'm cool and I have friends. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Mmm. That sounds so good. Been sneaking off recently and finding the time of day to take two hour long hot baths each day. It's an addiction. I have a neighbor, right? I have a neighbor whose house backs onto like a little alleyway by a park where the kids like to smoke the weeds, you know? Um, and her bathroom window opens out onto that alleyway. So she would have really hot baths that fill the, the room with steam and she would open the window, not on purpose, but she'd accidentally hot box herself. And she was like, God, why are these baths so relaxing? Why do I feel so relaxed? Our baths are great. And then she realized like a month later what was happening. <laughs> Two hours. Two hours? Oh my God, I missed that. Yeah, aren't you like a prune? You come out all prune-like and whatnot. But no, you're good. Carry on. Baths are great. Enjoy. Guys, we should change the soundtrack. What's a good soundtrack for obsessions? Someone was mad about the bardcore, so we don't want, we don't listen to bardcore anymore. But what should what should we listen to? Oh, 
You're doubting the validity of my story because it wouldn't, that amount of weed wouldn't necessarily do anything. It's not my story, man. A landlord told me about that. I say my neighbor. Well, it is my neighbor, but it's not my story. Someone else told me the story. Don't blame me, blame them. Oh, geez. Yeah, but you've said that story many times. <laughs> the ultimate hot bath scene. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Like in The Shining, for sure. I was obsessed with a girl from my class for six years. I never stalked her and didn't do anything creepy, but wasted many other opportunities to get to know other girls or get into a relationship with girls, which actually could have liked me. Oh, what a waste. Oh no. Oh no. You know my neighbor, not my story. <laughs> Hi, Red, welcome in. Oh no. Hi, Red, what's up? How are you doing? You poor thing. It took OP six years to finish one class. <laughs> yeah, OP's not all there. That's all right, though. We can't begrudge someone for their, their capacity. It's fine. Hi, Groove. Welcome in. Oh, no. Well, do you know what? It's not necessarily your fault. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to suggest for this. Maybe a two hour long hot bath just to rewind, you know, just to wind down. Clearly it's over. You don't necessarily need help anymore because, you know, you're good to go. Although I don't know. We don't know that it's over. Yeah, obsessed for six years in the past tense, but don't know if it's still not going. Are you with someone now? Mm, have you, have you, have you remedied this? Maybe not. Who can say? Hi, Patrick. You spelt my name wrong. Again. You spelled my no name wrong. <laughs> oh no. It's Mike. Is that Mike? <laughs> nope. Banned. Perry. Who's Perry? Platypus. Man, for good reason. Well, guys, we need to change the music. Suggestions for music. It must be DMCA free. We used to do Bardcore, but people hated Bardcore. So, F fuck you, I guess. I love it, but I get obsessed with things. Wait, didn't we? We came up with something, didn't we? It was my recent searches. It was like, was it game show music? We came up with a really good one. It was like, it was, it was, it was, ah, uh, it was a, a, a Spotify playlist of something. There must be another genre other than, other than Bardcore. You would think so, right? You would think so, but I've just never, never been able to find it. What's a good genre? What would be good background music? Hi, Lolly. Sumerian, the Epic of Gilgamesh. <laughs> No. <laughs> Arathai Fallout music. No. <laughs> Church songs. No. <laughs> Doom Eternal. Yes. Lo-fi stuff. Fuck off. I like Bardcore. Christian death metal. We're getting closer. <laughs> Scream metal. I like Mario vibes. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. We can play the Mario Galaxy soundtrack. That's pretty cool. I can get behind this. <laughs> I can get behind this. This is pretty good. This is this is pretty good. What about like Okay, instead of Galaxy. Instead of Galaxy, Mario Kart. That's good. I get behind this. Okay. What do you mean you're not sure if this qualifies? Yes. Not sure if this qualifies. <laughs> 
But I first felt infatuation at age 16 to this girl I had a crush on since I first saw her in my orchestra class when I was 14, so two years. She showed a little interest in me in a biology class and we, we took together and I blew it out of proportion. I could not eat or sleep and thought about her constantly. She never knew though. I did invite her to a fake date collecting money for cancer research, which was total BS. Not sure if that counts as a date. Sorry, I know this is lame. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, you made up that you were you were collecting for charity? So you weren't actually collecting for charity. You just sort of made that up to get them to close together. At the age of 16, you should know better. Come on. You're not eating or sleeping? Fake day requires elaboration. I agree. I agree. One for lying. Rage. Rage. Please. Rage. We must believe everything. It's way more fun to believe that it's true. Yes. You need help. Mm. Fake charity. Equals. Fake life. You committed fraud. They committed fraud. Oh, dear. <laughs> Big booty bitches! I can't get enough of them. Based. <laughs> Clean them! <laughs> Munchausen by proxy BS. <laughs> For shame! But no, you're good. Proceed. Carry on. Carry on. Thank you for voting. More like they can't get any of them. Am I right? You are right. You are co you, you're correct. Mitch, thanks for the follow. That's not an obsession confession, but it is a whimsical point. Drum and bass music. It goes hard any time of day. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I disagree, but you do you. That's fair, Rach. And there are so many different kinds of drum and bass too, you know? I don't know if this is drum and bass. Um, I can't remember. But there's so many different kinds of drum and bass. There's like, like stuff that goes hard, right? And then there's stuff that's like liquid, like I just played. And then there's like, like songs turned into drum and bass, right? Yeah. And then there's like stuff that's ridiculous. You know? And then there's church music. That becomes drum and bass. All that you showed me. So, I mean, the, the possibilities are infinite with drum and bass. And that's pretty, pretty cool. Wait, let me find the old playlist. Oh no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, wait! Okay, we're back, we're back. Cool. But you're not wrong! Carry on! Wow, what a selection. <laughs> Thank you. I love techno with hymns, it's so cool. Was that Berserker? Berserker's so good, I love it. Okay. I have an, alter uh, an alternate account on Twitter to post nudes and I've become a little addicted to it. I enjoy the improvement slash compliments that I get. Bit of a flex. Get compliments on your naked body. Must be nice. <laughs> if I did that, everyone would just be like, oh God, put it away. You know, all the children would be screaming. So. 
pretty pretty cool link in the comments no don't link it in the comments don't don't do that but happy for you although addicted to it i mean addicted to anything is always a bad thing but no you carry on you get that you get them nudes for sh for sure you shouldn't show it to children Barry. children just are around you know you can't really there are children on twitter i'm taking notes of whoever is asking for the link <laughs> oh. oh my god this is so base when Pokemon Go came out, I had to catch them all. <laughs> I spent all my free time trying to collect every new Pokemon, and when they were Pokemon in places out of my city, I traveled to other places to catch my Pokemon, and it became too expensive, so I stopped. <laughs> oh my god, you had to catch them all! <laughs> oh my god, the money! <laughs> damn, damn. Damn. Oh my god. The best thing happened to me with Pokemon Go once. I couldn't leave um, the hotel room. I was in Canada and I was a child. So my parents decided I couldn't just go outside, you know. So I couldn't leave my hotel room. Um, but there was a Taurus in the park just over the road. There was a Taurus. And you don't get Tauruses in the UK. There are no, at the time, there were no Tauruses in the UK. It was only a North American thing. And I was only in Canada for like another few weeks and I saw a Taurus in the park. So I was like, oh my God. So what I did is I just stared at my phone and the GPS always went a bit wonky sometimes. So I just waited for the GPS to go wonky and it did. And it the pin traveled over to the park just enough that I could catch the Taurus. I was so excited. I was so happy. Pokemon Go was a plague. Get help. <laughs> Get help. Daddy, why are we going on vacation to Floyd's Knob, India? <laughs> There's a Giratina! <laughs> we gotta go catch it, gotta catch ammo! Taurus in the park, catch. So good, so good. <laughs> sort of political, but I am so obsessed with learning the history of the Soviet Union that I now firmly believe the Soviet, the Soviet Union was good and was the best country to ever exist. And that the day of the Soviet Union collapse was the saddest worst day in human history and the beginning of the end for the human race. <laughs> Bro's been converted. Bro has been propagandized. <laughs> Comrade! <laughs> Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> Princess Tatiana. Oh god. Perry needs a comrade hat. I do have this scene and I do have a comrade hat. But I don't know where it is. So I'm not going to go ahead and, and find it. But anywho. <laughs> Wait, we were supposed to be racing the other humans? <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, yes. Get some help. Okay. Damn. That's one of the funniest things I've read in a, in a while. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Sings USSR anthem. What is the USSR anthem? Hold on, I'm trying to line this up, right? Yeah. I'm obsessed with filling random Google forms. <laughs> <laughs> the music's not annoying at all. Okay, you don't like Bardcore, you don't like this. What do you like? What do you want from me? <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> what am I supposed to play you? <laughs> I'm genuinely, like, genuine question. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> what, are you, what are you feeling? <laughs> the Wii menu music, which is on repeat. How is that not annoying? Bardcore was fine. About three people complained about Bardcore. Three whole pay people. Play No Doubt. I can't. Zumba! That's just songs, Mitch. It's just songs. Black metal. Death metal. Sludge metal, if you will. The Sims 4 music, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. The Katy Perry Sims 4 music. She does hot and cold, but in Simnish. It's pretty, pretty cool. Play Mozart. Mm, shan't be doing that. Shan't be. 
Mongolian throat singing. Oh, that's such a good idea. I love that. Epic sax guy for 10 hours. <laughs> No. No. Dude, it has to be DMCA free. So, Zumba wouldn't work. Because isn't that just songs? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not just songs. There's an artist called Moog who lets content creators use his music if you'd buy the digital version. That's fun of him. I'm not going to buy the digital version, but good suggestion, Roshi, in general. I'm going to... Yeah, okay, I'll poll it, I'll poll it. No, you're good. I mean, yes. Get help for filling random Google Forms. <clears throat> abhorrent behavior. Abhorrent. Should we bring back the Bardcore? Yes. No. Poll it. Hi, Pete. These are the weirdest, funniest ones. Yeah, for sure. It's not just which one wins. It has to be over a certain percent. Bardcore forever. Isn't this Bardcore right now? I, I think you, you've misunderstood what Bardcore is. This is not Bardcore now. <laughs> bardcore, more like Nerdcore. 79%. 76%. Sorry, chat, that's not enough. That's not enough to bring back Bardcore. Sorry, chat. Let's go. Basically, I'm really obsessed with camel toes. I know that's weird, but every time I see a picture of a woman, I essentially check for it. And in case I find it, I try to figure out using creativity, of course, how the real thing could be. I think that's really funny and ridiculous, but that's how it is. So you're zooming in, sexualizing, and perving on a fully clothed woman who did not consent to this. Gross. Gross. Grim. So. Bardcore. Bardcore po Oh shit, it's still Bardcore Pulse. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry. Do you need help? Get help, question mark. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes. No. Pull it. Laz, hi, welcome. Yes, landslide. This is gross behavior. If someone is posting a picture of their camel toe specifically, then go ahead. But if someone is just posting a picture and they happen to have a camel toe, it's very, very weird and not okay, really. Not okay, not okay, not okay. Get help. Help is needed. Find a local GP in your area and proceed. Next. Those who pick two are self-reporting. <laughs> Time to p -p -p poll it. Why would you stare at the foot of a camel? They just, they're just so pleasant. They're just so appealing. No, no, no. There's nothing wrong with the camel toe. Zooming in and trying to figure out the shape of the vagina underneath is weird if it's not a specific picture of a camel toe. Consent is key. Yeah, that's the problem there. The consent is the problem. S oh, jeez. Sleeping. This sounds like depression. <laughs> This sounds like depression. Yeah. Which is not spicy and also doctor. I mean, I think you do need help in the literal sense, 
But at the same time, we forgive you. <laughs> Sleeping's good, it's healthy. Yeah, I remember when I wasn't tired. You do? I don't. I don't remember when I wasn't tired. Um. Hi, Netherworld. That is the longest fucking link I've ever seen. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> we all sleep for an average of a third of our lives, so it's not bad. I do it practically every single night. Yeah, I spend eight hours a day sleeping. I know, obsessed. <laughs> I remember when I wasn't tired, it was prior to having kids. Oh, Shadow absolutely blundered it there. Oh dear. <laughs> so I'm sure you love your children. I'm sure you wouldn't change a thing. Rookie error. <laughs> oh no. Get help. Nah, you're good. You're good. Carry on. Sleeping's fun, man. Sleeping's fun. Nine hours is optimal. Are people, I think people are different. I think people have different amount of hours, you know? I personally sleep three hours and I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> my current addiction is cleaning and disinfecting. Can you come to my house? Can you come to my house, please? <laughs> are you offering your services? Not that I'm encouraging addiction, but if you are to, if you're doing it anyway, you want to come over? <laughs> I have a kitchen that hasn't been cleaned since 1997. That's not true. That's not true. For real days, get some help. But I cannot clean my house this much. What do you mean? Wait, is this you? Clean. Cleaning is important. Cleaning is essential. Clean, clean my house, please. Clean it. I'll pay you. I won't. Seems more obsessive compulsive. And then I love how everyone's trying to diagnose people. Everyone's trying to diagnose all the time. <laughs> I diagnose you with being a dick. <laughs> not 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 you. Just in general. I thought that was a funny thing to say. My god, that made me jump so much. <laughs> Bloody hell. Guys, hi, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Cleaning couldn't be Perry. Listen, I keep things nice and tidy. Thank you. No, you're good. You're good. You are the perfect person to live with, I imagine. I had a friend who was obsessed with doing the washing up to the point that you would be washing up and he'd be like, uh, no, let me do that. It was Pog. <laughs> it's pretty cool. What was that? It was a door. It was a tantrum is what it was. It was throwing a strop. <laughs> this seems to be a theme. We haven't had any cousins yet, but we've had quite a bit of this. Being humiliated and stepped on by a hot dummy mummy. <laughs> oh dear. Speed running. I mean, listen, I've not tried this, so I can't really say whether or not I, I would agree. I'd have to try it. I think. Give it a go. <laughs> Peg Peg says, same, buddy. Me too, buddy. <laughs> respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> you do you, boo. Oh, we're 50. We're more 50-50 than I thought. You know, I, yeah, I thought, I thought people wouldn't be kink shaming up in here. <laughs> do I want to do the stepping or do you want to be stepped on? See, that is the question of all time. That is the ultimate human question. Uh, but for the meantime, no, you don't need to get help uh, at all. Question for chat though. Do you want to be stepped on or do the stepping? Stepped on, do the stepping. Pull it! <laughs> Thank you for the follow, DZ. I appreciate that. We need a third option for both. Neither, says Kleist. There's no neither option. You have to pick one. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. <gasps> yeah. Bless me. <sighs> we went away. We went again. That's unlike me. Griefa, hi, welcome in. How are you doing? Self report poll. We're 50 50, kind of, but you'd rather get stepped on than do the stepping. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like I would feel bad. Listen, I did step on a bunch of cheerleaders one time. 
I have stepped on many a cheerleader. Because I was a cheerleader! Ha 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 ha! And I was a flyer, so you have to step on them. Um, but sometimes if you're doing a stunt right... Okay, I was a cheerleader for like a month and then I got kicked off the team because I didn't show up. Anyway, but I was a cheerleader for a little bit and they put me on top. So you have to step on them um, because that's how they lift you. Anyway, but the thing is, if you're doing a stunt and you're practicing a stunt, falls happen. Falls happen. So uh, every now and then they drop me or I would jump in the wrong way or I'd land bad and they would fall and I would fall on top of them and my foot went on... Long story short, I kicked one in the face once. My foot landed directly on her cheek. And you wear shoes. You have to wear shoes. So. Ouch. I felt so bad. I felt so bad. Long story short. Stepping on people is awkward. You know, I don't want to hurt anyone. Yeah, I felt so, so bad. She was really nice about it, though. She was like, listen, it happens. This is what happens, okay? It's fine. This is this is this is what happens. It's not your fault. I expect to get hurt. It's it's a sport. Like it happens. So you killed her! <laughs> yeah, and then she died. <laughs> no, no. We're 50-50! Damn! Okay, well that's good. That's good. Everyone pair up in twos, and then you've got the perfect solution. <laughs> fine if if the ones find a two, then everyone has a partner. Yay! <laughs> oh, good work, everyone. Good work. That's fun. Die, bitch! <laughs> yeah, that was me. That was me oh, <laughs> at the time. Porn, David Bowie, nuclear weapons, and chocolate in no Pertica order. Oops. Well, I'm glad you don't have a Pertica order. Nuclear weapons. I, I, oh shit. <laughs> Not again. again. <laughs> What's a Pertica? One for the Pertica. Get help for Pertica order. Pertically needs help. <laughs> I assume that nuclear weapons is learning about the nuclear weapons and not launching them. This is the president of the United States talking. That's that's what this is. Nuclear weapons! Woo! Just full blown devastation. I love it. Can't get enough. That's that's what that is. Building them at home. <laughs> Building your own Pertica nuclear weapons. We're 50-50 on this one. 50-50. We're divisive. Majority's leaning left, but I'm not going to call it necessarily. I think it was the Pertica that threw people off. So there there it was. I have plans with a friend to build nuclear weapons. Is your friend Putin? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Where are you going to get the stuff from? What do you need to build a nuclear weapon? Alfredo is a chat GPT chatbot. Alfredo, what do you need to build a nuclear weapon? My A key is chattering. That's why I put A's and stuff. Is Alfredo here? Alfredo's not here, chat. Where did Alfredo go? Let me close him and run him again. In the meantime. We got one! It took us ages. It took us ages to get a cousin one, but we got one. My sweet, beautiful cousin wishing every day we weren't related. The reason they put wasn't there instead of weren't is because cousin inbreeding has already occurred. It's in the bloodline. He's back! Mushroom Alfredo is back. We got him. Alfredo, how does one not construct a nuclear device? Alfredo, 
What do you need to build a nuclear weapon? He does not react. Is he not reacting? Alfredo? We killed him! We killed him! Oh dear. Okay, well. Yes, get help. Get help. Please stop wanting to have sex with your sweet and beautiful cousin. Please stop it. Please. Alfredo was snitch at you <laughs> every single day, chat, every single day. Oh, by the way, if anyone was wondering what this was, it's Dante's Nine Levels of Hell as interpreted by me. You're welcome. How could you kill my waifu? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, actually, this is a shout. Glittering fishnet stockings. Assuming you just like them and this isn't like a pervy sexual thing. Oh, do you know, even if it is, even if it is, they are so cool and they're sparkly and I love it. I love, they're so cool. They look so good, especially if you put them under like ripped jeans and stuff and you have the little waistband. Oh my God. Sparkly tights are amazing, are amazing. Luke, thanks for the bits. I appreciate that. Luke underscore XC says, Alfredo stopped answering after I challenged him to stop writing in chat for one minute a long time ago. I assumed Cleda muted him again. Maybe I broke him. Oh, you broke him. Oh, you told him to go away and he took it to heart. That's so sad. That's so sweet. Uh, no, um, I'm controlling Alfredo. So it's only me. So if he's broken, he's broken. No, no one is controlling him from anywhere else. It's me, which is maybe why he's broken. Anyway, <laughs> get help. No, you're good, Chief. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> Jared, thanks for the sub! Someone has to explain this to me. Someone has to explain this. No, thanks for the follow! I'm obsessed with a specific category of girls. Mysterious girls who appear normal, but are not. Shadow underscore four underscore it says, hype train to save Alfredo. Oh, Shadow, thank you for the bits. Mysterious girls who appear normal, but are not. I believe I have a sort of superpower. I can spot them immediately without even talking to them. When I discover a girl who has a sort of secret life, I immediately fall in love. Of course, things always end the same way. Me. Destroyed. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Um, mysterious girls, do you mean people who don't tell you much? Ma listen, I'm just saying- listen, I'm just saying... Okay. All I'm saying is... Right. Is that... It seems like mysterious means people don't tell you much stuff. So you go for girls who aren't talking to you. Is that what that means? Double life girls. I'm just like, I'm just theorizing here. What is a mysterious girl? Mysterious girl. Wait, how does this song go? Because it doesn't go like that. I wanna get close to you. Mysterious girl. I wanna get fucked in your in mind. <laughs> is he dating batman <laughs> yeah what does mysterious mean in this context i genuinely i'm not sure what is a mysterious person someone who has mood swings <laughs> Someone unpredictable. I like someone who every day surprises me. Because they beat me. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Yes, perhaps. Maybe, maybe, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you end up destroyed. I'm sorry. 
Do you mean like big booty goth girls? You just have to be a bad communicator to be mysterious. Yeah, I had a friend who I thought was bad, like mysterious and cool. I thought he was like above everyone else in the best way, like cooler and nicer than other people and like chiller. Uh, it turns out he's just really dull. It, it turns out really boring. <laughs> so that's what that was. <laughs> Oops. In the first week of Starfield's release, I put in 73 hours in the first week it was out. Almost got fired because I work from home and I was just ignoring work. Oh my God, please don't get fired. No. Oh dear. What a legend. <laughs> Starfield's good though. Starfield was awesome. Full disclosure, I haven't played, but Starfield was really good. For Starfield, people didn't like Starfield, but it was really cool. It's shite, so, to be fair. Do you know what? I haven't played. But, you know, apparently it had some good things. 73 hours in the first week. That's like three whole days. That's three whole days. You guys are being like, for Starfield? <laughs> Get help? Yes. Was it worth it, though? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? <clears throat> listen, listen. There was once a philosopher of whose name I've forgotten uh, who said that time enjoyed is not time wasted. I don't know why I got all the hate. I like the world and aesthetics a lot. So, so did I. I'm obsessed with my safety. And it leads to a very sad fact. Basically, I don't trust anyone. To be fair, I don't trust anyone either. It's probably not true. That's an exaggeration. But I choose to trust people blindly. Does that make sense? Don't trust anyone. I choose to trust people and I behave the same way as if I did. I'm a sort of heart on my sleeve. And if it goes wrong, it goes wrong, whatever. Sort of person. You know? Zath, I... But I'm like aware that at any point it could go wrong. I think that's just not that's just normal, isn't it? That's just what that's just what we're all doing, I suppose. Is that what it is? Trust people carefully. Yeah, don't be stupid. But do wear your heart on your sleeve. Maybe. You can trust people with information that's inconsequential. That's true. That is true. Trust people until you can't anymore, then move along. Yeah. Yeah. You know, things happen. I'm not concerned about it. I don't know. I don't know, guys. We just, maybe we just all have issues. I think we just all have issues. <laughs> oh, God. All of us need to get help. Every single one of us. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, dear. Get help, everyone. Thank you, Dion. That's so nice of you. Ah, oh, that's so nice of you. Hi, stranger. Welcome in. How are you doing? I test people a lot, says Steve. Steve, how do you test people? Latex. Latex. But not the whole full-on heavy rubber, though that has its moments. More along latex, mini dresses, cat suits, stockings, long gloves, etc. Again, I'm assuming you wear them. As opposed to it being like a weird, kinky, sexual thing. Although maybe it is. I get people, there are people who are obsessed with latex. There are people who are obsessed with like wearing it because they like the way it feels. But you have to like baby powder your whole body, you know? Like it's hard to wear latex. <laughs> as it were. <laughs> Can you elaborate? You want him to elaborate, Frisk, really? The way you read it, sorry. <laughs> Oh no, 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 it's not. It's it's not them wearing it. It is a creepy sexual thing. Get help. Nah, you good. You good, chief. You're all right. Vibe checks always work for me. Oh, tell us, how do you do a vibe check? Because I have like a thing that I do. I, I basically, I take a little while to decide if I want to befriend someone. But once I've decided, I'm all in. That's, that's my rule. Once I choose, then I go for it.
I'm gonna skip this one. <laughs> YouTube, uh, and, and Young Jared, thank you for gifting a sub. As a product of a Catholic school education, I have a weird desire to go back in time and fluck some of the nuns who were my teachers. While most of the nuns were beastly and covering up most of their bodies was a good thing for them. Oh, ouch, ouch. There were a few that my vivid imagination saw as fluckable. The first was Sister Anne. Here's where it turns into a, a fanfic. First was Sister Anne. She was tall and thin with a beautiful face. Second was Sister Pelleriti. In the eighth grade, the nuns who only wore the habit, the headdress, and normal clothes. Based? Question mark? I... I don't... I'm not sure. Maybe? Hot sisters. Wow. <laughs> but like in the... in an okay way. Yeah! Pikefuck says I didn't need to know that. No, I mean, yeah, fair. Fair. Like, yeah. <laughs> Get help? No? I mean, you scare me a little bit with the wanting to go back to the school and, and, and fluck them. That is a bit scary. You you worry me slightly. But I, I feel like that's fine. No? This person has a problem. Booze with my coffee. The cheaper, the better. <laughs> I used to get embarrassed. As a, as a youth, I used to get embarrassed when I was asking for alcohol. I would ask for the cheapest one, right? But I would I would know the brand of it. And I would go and I'd ask for a bottle of vodka or whatever. And I'd know the brand and I'd say, can I have this brand? And I used to get embarrassed for getting the cheapest, cheapest one every time. And now I really don't give a fuck. I just go and they say, what one do you want? And I say the cheapest. Literally the cheapest. Whatever's cheapest at a bar. Can I have a... Uh, Oh, what's my what? A, a, amaretto Coke, please. Which amaretto? The cheapest one. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm good. It's like fine. Life's too short. Money is too absent. <laughs> Don't mix your depressants with stimulants. Have you never had a Jaeger bomb? Listen, stay safe. Stay safe. But it's a really good time. It's a really good time. Yeah, amaretto Coke is the classic Dr Pepper. It tastes exactly the same. Caffeine and alcohol is a really potent combo. <laughs> It's it, like stay safe out there, but it is really it's it's good. It's a fun it's a fun time. Get help? Uh, no, you're you're good. You might be an alcoholic, but that just means you're funny. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Not sure. It's an Irish coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Wait, wait, what did I say? I actually don't remember. What did I say? Why is everyone screaming at me? Alfonso, hi! What did I say? What did I say? You're my favorite problematic comedian. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Minecraft bees. God, I wish I was one. <laughs> that is the best one. That is the best one we've had so far. By far. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know why I find that so funny. I think it's the God. <laughs> I really don't know why I find that so funny. That is magnificent. The most magnificent thing. <laughs> The music is hitting. Thank you, Rage. It was a good suggestion. Whose suggestion was it? Can we pull up a picture? Oh, that's a good point. Minecraft B. God, I wish I was one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, valid. Valid. <laughs> I, I see that. <laughs> you get it? I mean, I get it too. I get it. I can appreciate this. Can we say they want to be a blockhead? 
What, were you making a pun? I feel like that was a pun. But you scare me. Go spectator, spectator mode and right click on a bee. It's not the same. It's the closest. As in it's get be it gets better or worse the further away you are. Which which is which is better, which is worse? Are there bees in Minecraft? Yeah, there's like so much stuff. There's so much stuff that's changed. For for sure. Thank you for voting. No. You're good. Enjoy. Go forth. Imagine your biggest aspiration is being a bee in Minecraft. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Like, yeah, they're cute. They're fuzzy. They don't have to do anything. No one's yelling at them ever. Sometimes a weird little blockhead boy comes and tries to stab you, but you just float away. All you do is sniff a flower and move on. I would love to just sniff flowers and move on. That's what I want to do all the time, 24 seven. Escape is escapism. Go forth and pollinate. The Lord Jesus said that himself. Okay. Lactation from women. We watched a Love Don't Judge video about this one too. We did. We did. It was it was pretty it was pretty good. <laughs> it was it was alright. You know. <laughs> you guys at the time said that it wasn't that weird. I mean we said it was weird and you guys were like, no, Perry, it makes sense. It's fine. People have different things. People have different opinions. So you can't be changing your you can't be changing your mind now. Get help. Oh, okay, suddenly the tables have turned. Okay, when I'm not the one saying that it's weird, you guys are like, oh, it's fine. We did not. Yes, you did. You did too. Oh yes, you did. Oh no, we didn't. Oh yes, you sorry. Sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Anyway, yes, yes, get help, yes. Yes, please. Yes, indeed. Uh very important and look guys we've all come together we've all come together look at this community i love it when we agree on stuff i find that fantastic and beautiful and brilliant and chat thank you so much for the stream today i had so much fun if you like what you see remember to follow if you don't do it anyway twitter for announcements instagram for pictures and discord for everything else i got a tiktok and a youtube as you know and a twitch so make sure to subscribe because i post regularly and the next stream is tomorrow at 1 p.m gmt be there or be square and be super nice to luckus because he's really really cool and you'll like him a lot and thank you thank you thank you thank you it was so nice hanging out i'll see you tomorrow 1 p.m gmt i i don't know how this goes hold on hold on hold on Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Mysterious girl, I want to get close to you. Oh, 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 oh. Mysterious girl, move your butt body close to my... I obviously know this song really well. Close to my eye. Woo! I'll see you tomorrow, guys. 1 p.m. GMT. Thank you so much. And be nice to Luckers. And that's the race. Found that raid message. Go big, go big in Luckers chat because he deserves it. Are we ready? <laughs>